Hello and welcome to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom launch event here from the Nintendo New York City store. Ah, oh, it feels so good to say that. I'm your host, Camille Salzar Hadaway, and that is right. We are counting down the moments till the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom finally reaches your hands and you could jump back into Hyrule with Link. Now, as I mentioned, Link's here. Yeah, you can see him, look at him. Doesn't he look so cool? Look at that statue, all the detail. It's just getting me so excited to talk to some fans, to also just hop into the game, but also see Times Square because Link's in two places at once. That is right, if you're a gamer and you happen to be watching the stream from Times Square, well, guess who's watching you? That's right, Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf are definitely doing that because, of course, we are here to celebrate the highly anticipated game. And tonight, we're going to be showing you some great gameplay coming out from the Nintendo Treehouse team tonight. Now, with that happening, I do want to say that tonight's segments will not include story spoilers, but instead will show you how to play through Tears of the Kingdom in some unique ways that you haven't seen before. So there's lots of cool stuff that you're going to see. And you know what? We're going to throw in some surprises along the way as well. Now, with that said, let's get started with our first look at the game tonight with the Nintendo Treehouse team diving deeper into some of the new abilities Link has in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Hello, and thank you for joining us for Nintendo Treehouse Live. I'm Sam, and I'm here with Jose and Kendra, and today we have the pleasure of showcasing some gameplay from The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're not going to talk too much story today. We're going to leave that for you to discover. Instead, we're going to focus on some of the new elements of this game and specifically how the new abilities will change the way you experience and explore the world of Hyrule. So, Kendra, can you get us started and tell us about what we're looking at? Yeah, so we are here on the Great Sky Island, and as the name implies, we are up very, very high. Um, Jose is doing super cool Zelda crouch. Uh, well, not Zelda Link, obviously, but um, anyway, back on track. Um, as you may notice, uh, Link's right arm is looking a little bit different today. Um, we're not going to get into the why, but we do just want to state the obvious. His arm looks very different, and actually, his arm um, directly correlates to the abilities that Sam was mentioning just a little bit ago. So we're going to get into that, but um, yeah. That's right, yeah. Sam, why don't we show folks the ability wheel real quick? Yeah, yeah. So um, if you hold the L button down here, you've got this new radial menu, and this is how you'll select the abilities. Anumasan introduced these abilities in a video a couple of weeks ago, um, but really briefly, uh, over to the right, we have Ultra Hand. This allows you to items in the environment to, to make contraptions. Uh, you have Fuse at the bottom. That allows you to attach materials to weapons, shields, and arrows. You have Recall, which will allow you to rewind an object's movement. And then finally up at the top you have Ascend, which will allow you to pass through material above you and emerge on top of it. Now I know that was a really brief description, but don't worry too much about that because we're going to be showing all of that stuff today. Yeah. So I've got an adventure planned for you guys. And first, we're just going to do a little scouting. Uh, pro tip for anyone who's played Breath of the Wild or if you're coming to this game for the first time, is always try to scout from up above. And you'll see here, you know, from the slightly elevated position, we can see that we have a little camp of soldier constructs. So I'm going to just drop a pin there. And you'll see that on my map, uh, I left a pin there to come back to, uh, just for myself, just so I can sort of make my way here. But first, during the opening, I don't know if folks noticed, but there's a little island over here. Oh, let's pick up. Yes, please. I was going to say, everything. you've been running by a lot of stuff, <laughs> yeah. and it's been bugging me. Well, it's partly because uh, some of the stuff in my inventory you're not really going to have when you get to this point in the game. But you'll, we, you know, we're going to talk about that. But, but first, a friend in need. Yes, yeah. a friend in need. Oh, my goodness. And uh, we got to wonder how this little creature, which is a Korok, obviously, <laughs> got here with this giant pack because it doesn't really make sense to me, but we're going to help them out. Yeah, so traveling with their friend and got separated. 
we can see the camera will show us where that friend is, that green plume of spoke over in the distance. Um, and this is a little puzzle that we're going to solve here on the Great Sky Island. Uh, as a quick bit of setup. <laughs> Sorry, real quick. <laughs> what? The Korok said it was it was too tired, and that's why it can't move. Uh, See this backpack? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I They're can't. They're rocking. I can't blame. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I play video games the same way. Just collect everything until I can't move anymore. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. So you'll see here that uh, you know we've got some parts already kind of set up for us. We're going to use very Ultra Hand. Very conveniently. Very conveniently, uh, and we're going to use Ultra Hand. Uh, so a quick primer on Ultra Hand is that uh, it works a little bit like Magnesis in that you can pick up objects. But something that's new right. now is that you can actually rotate objects as well. And it doesn't have to be an object made of metal, which was the limitation in Breath of the Wild that mm -hmm. is completely not a thing in Tears of the Kingdom. And so we'll pick up this piece right here. And you're going to see, too, I'm going to actually come at it from this angle. Right. Here to see. You can uh, see that glue. Yeah, the glue is really important because it'll show you where two pieces will snap together and you'll see the little glue sort of form. Um, but don't fret. If you put something together and you're not too keen on how it looks, just shake the right stick and you'll or be Or how it functions, it. right? Right. That too. <laughs> yeah, physics, that's really weight, important. Like, yeah. All of that stuff is really, really important. You're right. Um, OK, I'm going to chop down a tree, actually. Uh, so right now you are building something to send the little Korok uh, on their way over to their friend. Oh yeah, correct. Yeah, and I've I've put this Korok through a lot, so I'm being gentle <laughs> this time. Uh, let's just move over here. <laughs> it's true. Uh, oh yeah. No, We've I, seen it. Yeah, I, you don't want to know. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna quickly place this here and just see that it works. You should always test out designs, in my opinion, just to make sure. Um, yeah, it's or nails. just throw caution to the wind and you know. Oh yeah, see and just go happens. for it. Uh, but this don't let it turns get too far. To be yeah. a good opportunity to set up how recall works. So here's recall. Nice. I'm able to basically reverse this object's momentum, um, and there are two things missing from this little raft, and it's myself and the Korok. <laughs> and you can switch the ultra hand while the recall is happening. Uh, pro tip: so don't feel that um, you have to necessarily stop recall in order to do that. We're going to fast. Look at him. Look at him flail. <laughs> oh, he calmed. OK. Uh, the Korok has calmed down. Going to attach the Korok. A little bit. Still, yeah. still sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still sweating kind of a lot. Going to drop this there. And Clearly gonna... doesn't like being moved around with Ultra Hand. Yeah. We're going to ride across. Ooh, right through this cloud, Wee. too. Yeah. It's a nice little vista. Nice little backdrop we have here. So those materials were there on that side of the rail. And that's that's kind of a suggestion of how to solve that problem. Mm -hmm. But um, you you could have done something completely different. Like it's it's very ultra hand is very open ended that way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And on, on some puzzles, you'll really see like opportunities to really flex your creative muscles. Yeah. And do something that maybe didn't work for someone else um, or something that they didn't think of, which is really neat. Right. Oh, yay. Reunited you did at it. last. You did it. And we got two Korok seats for that. Hooray. Yes, the Korok seeds still in the game. They still smell funny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave in it. In case anyone was wondering. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the text? <laughs> so clearly we want people to think about what they smell like. <laughs> All right. So I could use my little raft on a hook to cross this, but why not go in style? Oh, that's nice. so cool. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we saw this very briefly, shield surfing on a rail. We saw that very briefly in an earlier trailer, but the cut was so quick that I didn't realize what I was looking at. And then when you showed me that you could do it, oh, my mind was blown. Oh, yeah. I do want to point out um, we just used the glider. We used the glider earlier as well. Um, so that is returning. That's a returning element. And mm -hmm. you'll see some things, obviously, that are returning from Breath of the Wild and a ton of new things. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Also, the um, the pin that you put in the chest earlier as well. Yep. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah, we should we should probably mention that like the Great Sky Island also is um, it's it's sort of like the Great Plateau from from Breath of the Wild and that this is where you'll learn your your abilities. You'll come to this area very early in the game, but you'll see some of the items that we have are actually we've gotten later in the game. So we've we've come back to the Great Sky Island. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. We're so pretty well equipped. We're setting up to talk to you about fuse. Yay. And this is me with fuse activated running around a piece of material that I <laughs> want to fuse. Oh, wait. Oh, we're under attack. All right. So uh, night has descended, so let's just quickly get rid of this keys. Normally, I wouldn't uh, fight with a weapon that is not fused in some way, and actually, you can do that. And if you do, you may notice I did that earlier with like a rusty broadsword, which is not in a great shape. 
But uh, Kendra, what do you think? Why don't we set up for folks just how Fuse sort of works? Yeah, so um, so Jose has the rusty broadsword. It's not in very good shape right now, but the super awesome thing, I mean, there are many awesome things about Fuse, but one of the super awesome things is that you can take a weapon that's about to um, be destroyed when you use it, um, and once you fuse it, it actually lengthens its lifespan. So um, it's just a really nice thing that you uh -oh. can work with, oh, aside man. from the <laughs> fact that you can um, be attacked by this guy. And, uh, <laughs> We're and being it, attacked. Yeah, <laughs> and also, as you see, the, um, the Korok frond that's now attached to the sword is creating a gust of wind. Oh. So um, you can play with combining different elements and see what they do. So I want to take my time with this fight for a second. And uh, even though you should prepare before a battle, I'm just going to quickly improvise here. I'm going to drop a uh, piece of amber. I'm going to drop two pieces of amber. And then I'm going to switch over yeah. to a wooden stick. And I've got a shield that has nothing on it. So I'm just going to I love how patient this enemy is while you're <laughs> yeah, just while like doing all this preparation. Having right. like craft time over here. Yeah. So check out my shield right now. So I've got a piece of amber attached to it. But one thing that's cool is that the button that functions to parry can also now attack as well. That's amazing. Turn offense into oh, defense. Oh, nice. You can also perfect parry, which was totally planned. I'm not even going <laughs> to pretend that I did that by accident. So now you're dual wielding. Yeah, yeah, so by fusing certain materials to your shield, you can even fuse weapons to your shield. Mm -hmm. You can essentially you know, dual wield, like you say. You can have two attacks, one, one with the weapon in your hand and one with your shield. Yeah, check out my weapon too right here, right? Like yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, when you attach some weapons, right, like you got sort of a, a slightly more ridiculous look where it's a, <laughs> right. a Korok front. I don't know what you're talking about, Jose. That and was a, cool. And yeah. a rusty broadsword. <laughs> uh, but in the other example, you'll see that it's a bit more of a clean fuse and it looks pretty neat. Right, yeah, it's created yeah, it's like gorgeous. a blade-like weapon. It isn't just simply a piece of amber stuck on the end of a sword. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to pick up that stone yeah, axe. Are we heading to that camp? Cause um, yeah, we're going to yeah. go back yeah. to that, Showed camp, that right camp right now. Let's oh, yeah. Oh, nice. You got a piece of opal. Oh, yeah, wow. that's cool. Yeah, yeah very yeah. lucky. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you look at my mini map right now, you'll see that that pin is now somewhere up there. We can't really, I mean, we could climb this. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you can still use Breath of the Wild thinking to approach this game. Mm -hmm. But. Why not try something a little out of the ordinary? So we're going to talk about Zonai devices. Now, these are devices that can be found uh, out in the world um, in two ways. One of them is you'll find them sort of thrown out uh, as part of a, you know, just a stash of things. And the other are these Zonai capsules that you'll see here. I'm going to take one device out. I have a spring. I'm actually going to take out a fan, too. Why not? So you're, you're applying okay. Tears of the Kingdom logic here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Tears of the Kingdom logic means that devices can be used to do a bunch, uh, bunch of stuff. You may remember this fan from Mr. Aonuma's video, and you'll see that it'll take me up a little bit of a height, and that's great. I put out two fans. That was kind of a waste. And it's <laughs> depleting your battery at the moment. Oh, yeah. So you that's have, right. Yeah, you have so a the, battery. Go for it, Sam. Oh, no, I was just going to say, the, the Zonai devices run off of your energy cell. Yeah. So uh, you'll see that this Zonai device springs uh, rather, rather violently. <laughs> uh, that's some serious business. But what's cool about this thing is that it can also give you serious height. That's nice. significant. That. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's really yeah, it. Like, why climb? Like, you right. have <laughs> other ways to do things now. So Well, if really you don't want to leave it behind, right, then you yeah. can climb. No, but that is true. Yeah. And, and you're not in short supply on those. Hitting the Zonai devices one more time. Um, those those are the the capsule forms are Zonai devices that you can carry around with you in your in your inventory, which is awesome because that enables you to pull them out in like a time of need or mm -hmm. use them in ultra hand constructions. Oh yeah, so we have our material selections here, and I'm able to sort it in a couple of different ways. Uh, I'm going to quickly sort over to where I can drop some Zonai devices because we're not done. We're going to drop this <laughs> spring here, and I'm actually going to show you that these aren't just devices that function in the world, but they can also Diffused. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna fuse it to my shield. Yes, You'll you see are. That it's a much more convenient <laughs> size uh, than sort of the. the it's magic. Version. Zonai magic. Don't. Yeah. Yes. Don't. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah. Don't, don't think, think about too it too hard. hard. Yeah. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, equip another rusty broadsword, and this time, I'm going to ask for participation. Uh, name something on this bar that you want me to fuse. Uh, two uh, to the left there. Oh, right here. Oh yeah. yeah let's do a rush room. room. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, so we're gonna drop it. I'm going to fuse, and you'll see we have sort of our mushroom. <laughs> you are looking really cool right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah and you're ready for battle. All right, let's 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 yeah. get into this camp. Okay. Get in Do there it. to battle. 
Yar! <laughs> With right. your spring and your mushroom sword. <laughs> Guess what the spring does. Oh! Yes! It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Just beautiful. Wonderful. Just push it back. <laughs> then our rush room will also... Oh, oh goodbye. ...has kind of a springy effect to it, which is really neat. Yeah, mushrooms, when fused to weapons, they give you, like, a bouncy effect. <laughs> which, oh, my yeah, gosh! Yeah. <laughs> wow! <It's>, uh, <laughs> Yep. Goodbye. Anyway, bye -bye. It's thematically consistent with what it's you're doing with your shield, right? Oh like, my gosh. Just bounce them all so over the place. So if you basically don't want to battle, um, you can approach things as Ho Jose just did. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you also don't get the materials from that, so my approach yeah. uh, is a little chaotic. Sure, sure. We have one more sentry up there, and for this one, oh, I actually yeah. want to do something a little different. He's uh, up there looking for his friends. Yeah, we've been talking about fuse, and uh, you can not just fuse materials to weapons and to shields, you can also fuse them to arrows. And Mr. Aonuma has already kind of shown in his video that if you fuse a Keese eyeball, you know, it'll sort of find its target even if you sort of aim in the general direction. Right. I don't want to cool. do that. I want to show you something new. So Wait, let's fire. Can you fire a normal arrow first? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah let's, let's fire see. a normal arrow so, so we can see. I to hit this enemy. I'm actually going to move up a little like bit. You have to get, like, a lot closer. Yeah. A lot closer. And I could hit him. But yeah. okay. you can see there that I'd have to arc it, and there's all this mm -hmm. sort of like, you know, it's been done, but why not do it a little simpler? Nice wow. shot. Uh, nice shot. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. good. Perfect. And now the chest is open, but we're not going to open this chest because we want to leave some secrets for folks at home. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but when you fused that key swing to the arrow, mm -hmm. it gave it... Um, it extended the distance that the arrow flew, oh, yeah. so you didn't need to arc it as much. Well, and that's not all. Check this out. If I take this key swing and I fuse it to this two-handed weapon <laughs> and I throw it. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Wow. That one. Yeah, Whoa. that's awesome. That's Way out there in the water. Yeah. I also just threw away a two-handed weapon, well, but yeah. don't judge. <laughs> right. We'll it was, find it was another one. Don't, cause. We'll find another cause. one. Don't Absolutely. worry about it. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we got yeah. some choo-choos. Yep. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to use a precious stone, and just quickly, why don't you guys talk about the elemental properties? Yeah. Associated. Okay. So this is this is new um, for for Tears of the Kingdom. Is that the precious stones in Breath of the Wild? You could use them to uh, sell for rupees, or you could uh, use them to in. Wow. Uh, upgrade your equipment, right? Yeah. But that was that was about all you would use them for, whereas here in Tears of the Kingdom, now they all have their own elemental properties. Oh, yeah. And obviously, Jose just used an elemental property that works really well against these water-type enemies. Yep. So it just took them out in one one hit. Not that choo-choos are particularly strong, but you know. No, no, not at all. And they also, um, it turned their choo-choo jelly turned into... Um, Yes, the yellow, yellow choo-choo jelly. Sorry. Right. So you can also oh, throw wait. materials by hand. Yes. Can we throw this one? Yes. Let's right. let's show. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So hand holding an item and throwing it is new for for Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Um, and you can also do that with the with the precious ores. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the area of effect on these. Can we? Yeah. Let's oh, yeah. Let's, let's show real show quick. Them. All right. Uh, I would take cover if you ever throw one of these because yeah, stand back. Look pretty, at that. It's pretty massive. Jose's uh, just over here causing forest yeah. fires. Yeah, no big deal. Bad. Sorry, sorry. Chopping sorry. down trees. Yeah, it's a good thing that you that you got some elevation before you toss that oh, yeah. because like no. if you if you just toss it on the same plane, you're nine times out of ten you're gonna you're gonna injure yourself. I got injured as well. Saw yeah. a few game over screens. Chopping I've got down practice. trees again. Yeah. again. Yeah, sorry. I'm okay, chopping but down there's trees a reason. With a purpose. There's, yeah, there's that's a right. reason this time. Yeah, let's show folks uh, right here. Our next objective is I would like to cross this little stream here. Uh, but if we look at, nice dive. If you look at our stamina <laughs> wheel, I can't swim that. Yeah. Probably not going to go Or very could well. you? Or could you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just experiment. Yeah, so uh, you'll notice that we have some sails here. And we had some trees that were already chopped down, but I added to the mess. Yeah, you did. Uh, I'm going to get one more. Oh, another. So the game is like soft suggesting to you maybe mm -hmm. that you could build a boat here. Oh yeah, to, yep. to get across. Yeah, and so we're gonna use Ultra Hand and we're gonna build a boat. Um, I gotta say, I could spend hours doing this. Yeah, in fact, I kind of have. Yeah. Um, just by virtue of like really being curious about what's possible and what I could do. Um, oh. I just remembered one of the things um, I wanted to mention is uh, that this leads into really nicely is uh, in this game, there are many different ways to solve the puzzles. And I, I found that to be true in Breath of the Wild as well, but I feel like in Tears of the Kingdom, there's even more of that with these new abilities. 
And I personally am really excited to see what people out in the world are going to create. What abominations, <laughs> like what abomination is Jose or what creating? Amazing things, yeah, uh, yeah, an amazing thing. I mean, abominations yeah. can be amazing too. Yeah, they though. can. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Um, I like to take a not, <laughs> <This isn't> uh, <laughs> not typical approach. What I this isn't I looking much like a boat, Jose. It's not yet. Give me a minute. There's a vision. <laughs> okay, vision. okay. Believe. I believe. I believe in you. Yeah, I. Uh, I've made a lot of boats in my time, and this is a design that uh, stood out to me <laughs> as something that I wanted to. Uh, Jose do. always has something up his <laughs> sleeve. Like every yeah. time he's building something, it looks different than the last time, and we don't really know what it's going to be. Exactly. I mean, this is one of the things I love it's about like Ultra Hand, though, is that like it's this perfect confluence of raw imagination, questionable engineering, <laughs> and, then, like, and then curiosity, right? Because like. There's this sense of anticipation when you're when you've been building something and you're about to like activate it for the first time and mm -hmm. see whether or not it's gonna work. I see, that's a boat. I, I, that right. Okay, kind of okay. looks like a tribute. I'll take your word bit. for it. I just want to see bit. if it will float. I think will it float? I, I recommend <laughs> this being a general approach. Uh, all building. That it's is leaning. barely. It's floating. leaning a little right. bit. Hey, yeah. but it floats. Yeah, but it does. Right. You're right. The, right. Yeah. the maiden voyage of the SS. Apologies in advance. All right, we gotta address this up though. Uh, we're not. Yeah, let's done. make it cool. All let's right, so cool two flame emitters. Let's see. Uh, let's put two fans on it. Oh, we got rockets. Okay. You're gonna make it stylish too. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dress this one up. Uh, so I'm not done. There's a vision. <laughs> I swear. Just believe in me. And you do. Yes. Uh, but. I, I, I really Total do. Total and complete faith. Yeah, right that now. seems like a great spot. Let's just <laughs> let's just go for it. See what happens. Uh, but to Sam's point earlier, and something that I was uh, trying to get across as well is, don't be afraid to like test ideas before you kind of throw yourself yeah. headfirst into things because you kind of want to have uh, at least some inkling of if it's going to actually work or not. Um, and in fact, I've made boats that have tipped over. I have made boats that were weighted too far on one side. I've seen some of the boats you've made. <laughs> and they're pretty, and they're pretty, each one was special in its own way. I don't know, though. I kind of like not testing things and just going Go for it. Yeah, that's an approach. No, it fully. is an approach. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I tend to... Uh, be more cautious, even yes. though I take a lot of chances on these. I things. love this thing. Uh, yeah, but we're we're going for a really like uh, Viking sort of. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say it's got. Look it's here, very got, metal. It, it's very metal. Are you gonna add something to the front though? Uh, yeah, we could. It, yeah, I what feel like it needs it. All right, let's probably see. Probably another we got. flame emitter. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so you know, <laughs> like, device. why not? We're talking about Viking ship. Let's make it. Yeah. Even more of that. Uh, do you, would you like it pointing outwards? Or yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Let's also, go. just consider oh, the yeah. fact that there's so much wood and oh, there's going to be a oh, lot no, of that fire. Oh, no, that looks great. That looks great. Oh, oh <laughs> well, oh, it's beautiful. a little, little off-center, but... No, no, no. It's, uh, it's perfect. No, Jose. perfect. It's perfect. perfect. Yeah, fine. Cool. All right. Let's uh, try the SS apologies. <laughs> <for this laughs> apologies <one>. in advance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See how this goes. All right. And you're, All right. Get, you're getting on there. Yep, okay. On oh, it. boy. All right. All right. Cool. Do you have an axe selected? Yeah. I do. I'm going to switch off. I wouldn't recommend hitting something with an axe that's made of wood. Just right. Sometimes you can break You'll it. You'll destroy it. Oh, you would recommend attaching it. I mean, a it's bunch kind of, of working. Fire yeah. Oh, on yeah. Something always. Made of wood. It's always. kind of working it on is. its own, right? The sails are doing but some let's work. Let's just make it look no. a little better. Yes. Oh, and, and it's on fire. It's on fire. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Oh. Wait, wait, and why not? Just to see what happens. <laughs> what? <laughs> Will it go backwards? Oh, yeah. Whee! Wow. Oh, oh, right oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. And that's broken. All right. Wow. wow. You made it. You solved Failed the puzzle. Failed successfully. Yeah. <laughs> Failed out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's that's all the time we have for this segment. Thank you so much for joining us, but stay tuned. There's more coming up. Bye. Well, it's only fair that the Treehouse team gets to fuse a lot of things, so I decided to fuse myself to the cement on the streets <laughs> and also be joined with Nate. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am doing really well. How does it feel to be here in New York City? This is pretty much a perfect night in New York City. It's uh, perfect weather, uh, perfect vibe, and the energy in this place is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think a lot of the fans are having a good time, highly anticipating The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and Nintendo fused a bus to celebrate. Look at that. That's a creation I'm going to try to recreate in the game. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not sure they have video screens to fuse the vehicles, but hey, you know, I haven't finished the game yet. We have to figure it out. We have to figure it out. Now, one thing is that you started your career at Nintendo with a special game that I love, and that's special to this franchise, Ocarina of Time. How does it feel coming from that game now to see Tears of the Kingdom releasing? Uh, it's wild. It's a wild ride, certainly, and certainly not something that I expected to do professionally, but it has been uh, absolutely amazing as both a fan and somebody working on the games to see each time that the team continues to surprise us with new stuff. You wouldn't think it was possible. It's like every time you're like, oh my God, it can't be possibly top this, yeah. and then they do, and this game is no different. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Um, what would you say is your favorite ability that we've seen so far? Um, that is actually very difficult to say. I'm going to go with Fuse, even though it's, it's like a tight horse race for all of them. And that's only because I, I constantly shift between wanting to make things that look really, really cool yeah. and things that look really, really ridiculous. <laughs> and I, I want to use them both in equal measure. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Fuse. All right, we're going to go with Fuse. And you know what? I think I want to hear some of the fans and their excitement, right? I think they we see some people in cosplay. I got a little cosplay going on myself. I'm channeling Princess Zelda with my hair. Um, so I think it's only fair that we do see some of the fans and potentially maybe, I don't know, give them some stuff. They've been waiting for a very long time for this. I, I totally agree. I think that when the when the time is right, we're going to want to maybe wander back through this line. I was I was actually trying to get a, a vibe on how far back that goes, and I'm not actually I'm sure. Not it's sure. dark out here. Yeah, I, I don't know how far it goes. Kind of like the game Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know how far we could go in that game. I feel like it keeps going. But do we have something to potentially give some fans we do. today? Actually, somebody um, gave me this earlier, and I wanted to take a quick look at it. Oh, okay. Let's it's let's in take my a back look. Pocket, but this is a uh, lovely scarf that we have here mm, with this brilliant logo. And actually, I, I, I have to say, this is one of my, I have loved every logo that has been on Zelda yes. from the beginning. This is one of my favorites. You can see the decayed master sword there. This is absolutely beautiful. So, I mean, can we talk about that? I know we've seen so many uh, great images. I know, I was like, I was like, can I take it? I uh, know, but we've seen so many great images of the Master Sword, but it's the first time with Tears of the Kingdom we're seeing it really decayed and broken like that. And I feel like we're going to need to gather all of our strength to get it back to what it should be. I know, that's the beauty of this game. And we don't obviously want to spoil too much of it, but very early on, you are tasked with exactly that. You see that, a, you know, basically a, a great calamity has befallen the land and has befallen the Master Sword. And over the course of a very, very long game, you are going to be doing everything in your power to restore it to its former glory and honestly restore the land to its former glory. All right, well, let's restore this land with our fans to its full glory because it's already glorious. Let's go in. Uh, I think we go and give some fans some things, right? Now, with this game, the fans are going to be able to recreate or create new things, actually, that they're just going to be thinking on the fly. Um, but I think right now we should just give them yeah. some scarves. We want to hand some of these some of these scarves out to our uh, our fans and things. So let's let's do it. You guys want to follow us along? Yeah, I think we should get some help from the Nintendo team. I'm actually gonna oh, yeah, grab go. a couple myself. Who wants some scarves? Yeah. 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 Let's yes. Go. Let's go. Here we go. Now we have a lot of a lot of fans here who are holding their fandom with pride. You're seeing the shirts. You're also seeing the Triforce. You're seeing all of the excitement for The Legend of Zelda. Who loves The Legend of Zelda? Tears of the Kingdom. Who's excited? Yes, we we love it. We love to see all of it. I have to give another one out. Yeah, I got to give another one out. All right, here we go. Love the shirts. Love the shirts. Also, we are matching. Oh, I know. Yes, exactly. I, been, I, I didn't realize before we were getting on camera they were wearing the same thing. But. Well, I'm happy it happened. I actually sent you a text earlier, and I was like, hey, Nate, we got a match for this. Everyone. Yeah, that's right. And actually, I don't know if you can tell because we have these giant Klieg lights on us, but these things glow in the dark. So. <gasps> I did not know that. Okay, well, I'm going to go <laughs> figure out how to see this glow in the dark. Well, I think we should actually see some gameplay as well, so let's get to it. Let's do it. Hello and welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. My name is Kay and I'm here with Gabriel and Billy. We're going to take another look at 
The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Billy, where are we at and where are we going? We are at the Great Sky Island and we have a long trek ahead of us. We are going to try to get over to this shrine here. Um, one of the things that I love that they brought back from Breath of the Wild is being able to uh, tag different elements uh, that you see in the environment and then they appear on your map so we always know where we're trying to go. Um, but, as you can see, we've only got four hearts. We're a little early on in the game, so we've got a little bit lower level weapons. And and we've already got a friend here. <laughs> he wants to play. Yeah, that wants to hang out. And so I'm going to quickly fuse this log. Wow, that is... Um... That's a big boy. <laughs> Two-handed weapon, so... Um... Great, take a sword. And goodbye. Oh, okay, all right. Amazing. I thought you were going to send him on a little flight. I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do that. We'll try to do that to some other Poor baddies smug. a little bit later. <laughs> uh, so I'm to grab a mushroom right there. Oh, looks like a couple other soldiers over there. Ooh, and Choo Choo. Quick, they're distracted. Looks like they want to uh, have a chat with each other. And I think it's time <laughs> to, uh, you know, make an entrance. <clears throat> Just announce yourself. Starting with explosion. a bang, you know. <laughs> How else would you do it? <laughs> Truly. <laughs> you know, one thing I did notice uh, is the settings for controls are not what I needed oh, for no. for buttons. So I do. I am one of those people that <laughs> I'm an enabler, <laughs> and uh, I like swapping the the jump button. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I love that Billy just created Just chaos. making an impression. <laughs> Let's grab a few things. That was a very quick way to take care of those enemies. And I think that you also were able to create some red choo-choo jelly from that, too? I think so, yeah. So that was really, really great. And red choo-choo jelly is actually one of the best things to fuse onto arrows. Because um, they basically turn it into fire arrows. Sweet. So They're very valuable. Looks like this soldier has a board fused. So I want to match. <laughs> How convenient. There are boards just laying around waiting for you. <laughs> so when you attach a board to a weapon, uh, you have the power of wind. And so you can also hit <laughs> also enemies, the but they're really, really useful for crowd control. <laughs> going to say also the power of smacking. You know? <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> wow. This That's a really here. powerful gust oh. of wind. He just did a backflip into the <laughs> water. You do have to be careful because, um, as you can see, that You're is wood. a little flammable. So, um, a little flammable, and it's pretty... Yeah, let's cool off in the water here. Oh, fish. I like fish. Get an arowana. Nice little, nice little swim. Yeah. Um, I think you should use some of those horns that you picked up that too. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea because I would like to also have the ability to use my sword. So I'm gonna hop into here. Let's see. Let's take this construct horn and hold it. And then we're going to drop it. And then I'm going to switch over to. Let's just use this broadsword. Oh, that'll be fun. Nice. And that's got a little oomph on it. So I haven't taken any damage yet, but I do know. <laughs> Somehow. You know my <laughs> skill level. So. <laughs> and I do like to cook. So I am going to grab a couple items here. What are you going to make so, for us? Yeah, let's grab. Oh, the some of the fish that we got, that. yeah, and some steak. Nice. A little surf and turf, and Please season that. Thank you. My mom <laughs> always told me to use salt. Good, good, good. And we'll cook. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. What a nice meal. <laughs> delicious. Well balanced. Yum. I'm sure. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'll grab some of these things too. And I do also want to 
beef up my my shield here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. So that was an that, That's not that exactly what here. you had in mind, was it? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do that. There are two different rock types that you can fuse. One of them is more of a bludgeoning type, um, and one of them's a sharper edge type. And so yeah. now that I've got a one-handed weapon, edge. it makes it <laughs> so I can use. I can also use my shield that has yeah. a rock on it. So that oh. gives it a bit more durability, Listen, which that, is nice. Yeah, that's also one of my favorite shields because I'm not great <laughs> at defense, but like turning your shield into an offensive weapon, into a weapon, ten out of ten. One of the nice things about caves is oftentimes you're going to find keys, and keys eyeballs uh, oh are super helpful, yes. especially if you can at times have bad aim. <laughs> or if you're fighting a moving target. Yes. There we go. One of my favorite uh, additions. Uh, well, like the fusibility <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a bubble frog. And they are new to this title. Mm -hmm. They dropped something called Bubble Gem. Collect them all. <laughs> <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> so one of the things that I did see when we when we got in here is this rock wall here. And rock walls aren't totally new to the Legend of Zelda franchise. Um, and oftentimes you could just use a bomb to get in there, but. Um, Bomb flowers are a limited resource. Yeah, you don't want to, you know, I like using, as you guys are well aware, <laughs> uh, I do like using um, bombs and arrows a lot. So I want to save those, but it, by fusing this rock and the sword, great. we get back here. And okay. it is, this is something that I love doing in the game. Uh, this, every time I see a rock wall, I want to get back there because you'll get helpful resources mm -hmm. like rubies, um, amber, that you can use to fuse to items, but you can also sell them to make serious bank. That's a, a big um, draw for me of the caves that you can find. Um, they're very fun to explore because they're full of these new materials mm -hmm. um, and ore deposits and keys. And uh, speaking sometimes, of valuable resources. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes treasure too. Um, and the things hiding in caves and behind rock walls are always worth going after. So it's it's a good idea to make a point of exploring any cave you come across. Absolutely. So the shrine that we're trying to get to is up there. And cool. so we still have some terrain to cover. Uh, this river right here is pretty long and pretty wide. And so for I'm going to need a lot of stamina to get across it. And I know that we're this early on in the game that I just don't have it. Mm -hmm. um, if you did watch Mr. Aonuma's uh, presentation, you saw that he used um, Ultra Hand to fuse these three logs together with the fan to make a raft. Um, I'm not a big fan of boats. I'll be totally honest <laughs> with you. So, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, so I want to find a couple different ways that we can, we can try to traverse this river. Nice. And so, ah, the floating Zonai platforms. <laughs> so, once you select Ultra Hand, um, everything that you can interact with turns orange. Mm -hmm. But the ones that you can actually grab that are close enough turn yes. green. So I know I can grab this one, and I'm just going to manipulate <laughs> carefully. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. Yep. So I'm going to put this here, and then let's see. There should be. A Those platforms are great because they'll just maintain their altitude. Mm hmm. So drop this up here. I'm fun hovering. And I want to get, I want to get away from the water. I think. Oh, careful with that yeah, fan. Yeah, that fan's not oh. attached. It's going to fall. That's it's going to fall. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> but that's the thing with Ultra Hand too. I can also just grab it from the bottom of the water. Yeah, yeah. helpful. Sweet. You might want to stick uh, it on the top. That so it is a good fall off. idea. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> so that's fine. You can get up there. Mm. Nice. So if there. I'm if I'm getting this right, it. Oh. I want to get some verticality out of this thing. I see. So you wanna, you don't wanna build a sh regular ship. You wanna build a sky ship, kind of. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Listen, I respect that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> respect this the is... vision. You know, since that's too high for me to jump up and gr and hop up there, I'm just gonna use a send, and then um, 
Switch over to Ultra Hand, grab the fan. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. And manipulate yeah, this. I love that, like, if you just look around at all the things you can <laughs> interact with and manipulate with Ultra Hand, and really the sky's the limit with the types of things that you can build. Okay. Um, like, look at this. This is, this is flying in style. That's right. This is how you cross a river. Listen, personally, I would add maybe, like, one or two more fans, but, like, I, pre I, I respect the vision. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful, though. The more Zonai devices you add, the quicker it'll drain your energy cell. So exactly. this yeah. early in the game, one fan, maybe two fans is probably all you need. So now I've crossed the river, um, but I want to try something else. So I'm, what I'm going to do is grab this fan off here. You know, this might be the only way I cross the river ever. <laughs> uh, it's going to go back. Gonna... Be a little Wait, what? Like on on this platform? On this platform? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's it's so much stylish. more stylish than the logs. It's like a nice, relaxing little trip. Too. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I kept my clothes dry too. <laughs> until I. Oh, what the were you logs. saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can use to get over here. So, God. Okay. What else is around? Let's see what we yeah, if you just here. turn on Ultra Hand and just take a look. Look, look at, at all of those things. There's yeah. so many options. And, like, what are you going to do with a pot, you know? Let's grab this. Like, you never know. Mm -hmm. You could do something really fun with one. Yeah, no, I appreciate how much uh, you have to play with. Exactly. Right? Think of the, the crazy things you can build with all this stuff. Grab this fan here. I'm a fan of fans. <laughs> <laughs> But not a fan of boats. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that we're establishing we Billy here. Lore. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Lore. <laughs> okay. And okay, okay, let's okay. see how this goes. I absolutely don't, have a plan here, and I, I, I'm I, really excited to see I have some thoughts. Off. I'm curious to see if I can actually. There we go. I want to do it as far as there. Perfect. Okay. That is so precarious. How does that make you feel? Okay. <laughs> <That's> very precarious. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> so what I'm gonna I'm gonna actually mix and match a couple abilities here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is use Ultra Hand to mm -hmm. lift that. Wow! Look at the reach on that. Really good reach. As That's far crazy. as I can go. Do not fall off the platform. And now. Okay. I'm bring <laughs> or you it will back drop it <laughs> into the bottom of the river. Carefully place <laughs> it here. Now. Okay. All right. I'm going to yeah, use another one of Link's abilities, uh -huh. and this is Recall. So I'm going to recall where that crate was, and we're going to see what we can do. Wow. Okay, so now you're just traveling the path that you created using Ultra Hand and giving yourself some height. Oh, oh are you going to make it? Are you going to make it? Oh, it's going to be so close. It's a little short. Oh. Oh, I believe. Yeah, I think I got enough I stamina, believe. so I am going to make it across. Make it. Yes. You know, that, that, oh, is yeah. a very, that was good. That was really good. Very creative use of the materials you had on hand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I, I especially like the idea of creating your own updraft with mm -hmm. a fan. We should note, though, that the first time you're here on the Great Sky Island, you don't actually have the paraglider, so that solution won't work. Um, unless you come back and try to uh, the advanced course of river crossing. <laughs> oh. But that's one of the things I, you know, I love uh, about this game is being able to find different creative ways and different options. I'm just going to ignore those choo-choos. Um, <laughs> uh, find different you know, ways that you want to accomplish objectives, whether that's in a shrine, whether you're um, out in the world. Um, it's, it's just really, it's fun to mix and match these things. If they work, they work. If they don't, you know, just a lot of trial and error and it's fun. It is. It's great to ask yourself, like, can I do that? Can, will that actually work? And a lot of the times the answer is yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's actually a lot of fun. So it looks like also, we've got... like the idea of like coming back with more resources and trying different ways to get across right. places. Right, um, It's fun. Okay, well, there is a captain construct down there, and we just saw it fuse something, or we're seeing it now. A barrel? A barrel? Or, or oh. not. <laughs> his, his, own buddy. his own his buddy. buddy. <laughs> like, <laughs> nope. I am going to attach these Thanks. two logs in here because they're throwing things at me. Oh, my I, gosh. Oh, now he's attempting to fuse again. Oh, he made a... Is it a board? A guster, okay, yeah. Let's see what we can do. 
What's your plan, Billy? The Billy way. Try to here. The oh. power of five. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what you going to do now? That was oh absolute overkill. <laughs> yeah, you know, a little chaos never hurt anybody. Right? Beautiful. <laughs> and we're just going to get out of here. I'm seeing it all go up in flames. Well, <laughs> we're going to leave the car behind. <laughs> valiant effort on behalf of the constructs. Unfortunately, they were not prepared to fight Billy Birdhammer. No. Nope. <laughs> so we are. Uh, we're going to hop into this cave here, and I like roller coasters, so we love just, them. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it's all about the dismount. <laughs> and grab a fan. Wow. Sweet. Oh, I thought that you did it this time, but it's actually a little bit off center and that paints me in my soul. Don't don't give me it's the creative business vision. About, yes. <laughs> I support Ooh, it. I very, support very, it. very Listen, dark it works. Vision. That's all we need. <laughs> I guess. She said begrudgingly. <laughs> So when you're, ah, excuse me, when you're playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom, you're going to encounter caves that are extremely dark and also, like, as you saw, pitch black. Um, and you've been seeing me picking up these bright bloom seeds uh, as we've been going on. Now, there are a number of ways that um, you, can br you can use bright bloom seeds to brighten up, literally, what you're trying to, uh, what you're trying to see. There they are. There we go. And so I'm going to drop one of these. So this is... This is a simple way. Just grab it out of your inventory. And whack it. And whack it. Sweet. So, sweet. Or. They're so cute. You yeah. can also throw them. Nice. Nice little That's light That's one impact. of my favorite ways to do it because it doesn't expend any resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I do like expending resources. <laughs> as you can see. And so you can also attach one to an arrow and just loft one into an area and it just brightens it up. Now that's that can that's be That's really handy if you're in a really big open space and mm -hmm. dark. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, so that wasn't that that dark. So this is pretty light, but you never know what you're gonna see on the other side. There could be treasure, there could be and really means scary things. Something terrifying. But just uh, even attaching beautiful. one to the yeah. you know the ceiling of where you're in. Just um, improve your visibility overall. It's, it's super really, useful. It's really, really, really helpful. Yeah. So anytime you find a cave, to recap, go in and take everything. Take all the bright bloom seeds and all the other stuff you can find. Well yeah, absolutely. Speaking I've been taking up speaking of taking, I've been taking up a lot of gameplay time. <laughs> uh, Gab. Would you like to play? I'm so ready. There you go. Let's go. Let's get out. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna uh, wait. jump. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. First of all, I'm gonna uh, right some wrongs here. Uh, not to call anyone out specifically, but uh, yeah, I need that to not to not be like that. You do you. I think I want to use this this, this cute little little weapon that you cute little reaper you made yeah so um i see a railing here so let's uh go ahead and create a go fun little ride. yeah uh but this time what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna take out a fan from a zonite caps zonite device capsule and um so these are one use items the fan isn't one use but um the capsules, once you take out the item, you can't put it back in. But basically, it's a super help, super handy way to just have just resources at hand. Um, so you can create your your fun vehicles or your shenanigans wow. as you go. What a view, right? I know. <laughs> You're going to give Billy it's... vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so look down. So look down. Uh, <laughs> no, but truly. Wow, um, that sunset. The... Ugh. I, I love the Sky Islands and, and just like the, the view uh, from above so is, is cool. breathtaking. Um, so, okay, to, to kind of stay on task here, let me look at the map real quick. Because I'm someone who gets lost very easily, so I'm very happy for the for the pins. I guess we're going that way. But first, I want to show off this fun little, fun little gadget. Yeah. So uh, this is a Zonai device dispenser. And how it works is uh, basically you can use... Uh, construct horns or Zonai charges to get um, Zonai device capsules. So I just used uh, five uh, soldier construct horns. And uh, let's see, we'll get some fun fun stuff out of it. 
When you use horns, it's a one-to-one -one, mm -hmm. uh, rate, so you'll get one device for every horn you dump in. But if you use Zonai charges, you get a little bit more of an increased um, return on your investment. Yeah, and you just toss them in like you're cooking. Um, pretty simple to use, uh, but uh, super helpful. So as you saw, we got some fans. Oh my we got That's some, a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> some portable pots, and one of my personal favorites, the some flame emitters. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another cool thing is that once you discover these, you can actually uh, look them up in your map. They'll be marked with this symbol, and you'll be able to see exactly the kinds of uh, device capsules that you can get from that particular uh, device dispenser. And each dispenser has a, a different variety of, mm -hmm. of devices available, so it's worth trying to seek them out, and yeah. um, you can make return trips to them as needed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know we have to go the other way, but like, listen, I can't resist <laughs> a Korok in need, Aww. you know. He's so cute with his little backpack. Little backpack? <laughs> little backpack. <laughs> Homie overpacked. <laughs> Me whenever I go home, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's let's see what we got to work with. I see, um, I, listen, I'm a fan of the roller coaster ride, so like, let's. Well, and there is a rail leading up to. Let's, it says friends. Friends, so. Uh, let's do that, but, you know, we just got a whole bunch of capsules, like, Let's, let's, okay. Let's more than one. Listen. Ah! Oh. <laughs> nice catch. It's fine. That was insane. What do you mean? It was totally uh, planned. Yeah. Um. Great. <laughs> I could not have done that any better. <laughs> and okay, this is this Beautiful. is my vision. Hold on. Okay. Let me, let me put this here. I mean, this is gonna be a fast roller gonna coaster. Gonna be. Oh. oh. Um. Excuse me. You missed. I would like. <laughs> Did I miss again? <laughs> Okay, hold on. Third there we go. There we Third go. time's the charm, indeed. Okay. And let's help our little friend. Listen, I want to give him the true, like, I mean, roller coaster experience. You should turn him so, like, facing forward, at least. I don't think oh, you attached him either. Call. Haven't you ever been on a roller coaster that went backwards? It, you just don't know. Attached. Yeah. Is he attached? I think so. No, we oh, don't. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> Listen. Well, he's in the safety be great. part with you. You're fine. That would be great. <laughs> that would be great. That was probably uh, for the best. It was a very safe, very gentle <laughs> ride. A little, a little fast, but you know. I wanted it to go a little faster, but... um. Wait, hold on. <laughs> kind of... Okay. There we go. Okay, sir. You need to be out of this ride. Think oh no! Oof is oh, right. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This poor Korok. It's okay. He's sweating a little it's bit. All, listen, it's all good. It's it's those are um Tears. Don't, don't you just sweat when you're having so much fun? Like that's what's happening right yes. now. Their backpack is full of pillows, so it's really <laughs> fine. No, no Koroks were harmed uh, <laughs> during this little trip. It was fine. <laughs> and important Korok seeds, too. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, and actually, I'm going to take a... I'm going to go ahead and use this chance to like, use a recall to, to go back. Oh, right. We crashed for... <laughs> <laughs> um, it is nice that, that you can just follow exactly the path mm -hmm. go backwards. Mm -hmm. And you can see the path before you commit too so if you cast recall on something and then see oh wait no that's not where i want to go you can cancel it earlier yeah whatever. yeah absolutely it's super helpful um so i guess we're approaching some oh yeah the cold environment yeah okay some snowy mountaintops so cold environments if you played uh breath of the wild you'll remember that the uh cold environments will cause you damage if you're not properly prepared for them um and Gab, what are you doing to prepare for so, the environment? So I, I just took out one of the portable pots that we got just to just to show it off. Um, these are a one-time use, so it will poof out of existence <laughs> once I cook on it. But I just feel like it's it's a really helpful addition because you won't always have access to pots wherever you are. Um, but if you have these, you can you know you can make food on the go. So on the go. Fun. And it's worth noting that they will also work in the rain because their um, yes. fire is protected. Uh, so they are very handy to keep on hand. Okay, so I'm cooking. What are what are we feeling mm. for this for this meal? How about, mm. yeah, chicken, chicken legs. Okay, are we doing chicken? A little and salt. Yeah, we got to spice it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that'll be 
that would be good, mm. you know, if I hit. Chicken wings. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're doing your job right. <laughs> um, nice. Ooh, perfect. So right, we'll, pot disappeared. Yeah. Uh, but now we can. We can and now go we're way. going into the cave rather than going into the cold environment. Listen, I I can't resist the cave. Who can? There, <laughs> in, you see, there is already a potential here for discovery. Well, and the caves are also a great place to get out of the elements too. So if mm-hmm. you're in the middle of a cold environment and you go into a cave, um, you can warm up a little bit. Sweet! Look at that ruby. Yep. Look at all these nice. bright bloom seeds. Listen, what caves are trope. filled with resources, as we keep saying. Like they're worth, uh, they're definitely worth checking out. Actually, well, now that I'm here, since we got some rubies, let me just. Uh, oh yeah. Don't mind me while I do a thing. <laughs> I wanna... Yeah, this is another great um, play style, oh. preparing your weapons and like shields and such on. with fuse before you actually get into battle it gives you a chance to be more thoughtful about what you're preparing and, and maybe experiment a little bit more when you're not in the heat of it. I, I see uh, a trend happening. <laughs> don't mind the, don't, don't, no, don't mind the, listen, listen. Does that not? I mean, good? that's no, really cool. It's really cool. It's, Thank you. I mean. It's my favorite kind of shield. <laughs> yeah, it's very handy. And, you know, we keep talking about exploring caves, but uh, I'm... Uh, I'm over it. I got the. W- I got what I wanted. So like, I'm gonna bounce. <laughs> we'll leave the rest of the cave for the for the viewers at home yeah. to discover on their own. Um, I just love using ascend to just, you know, <laughs> popping out in different areas. I always like. I do like to to glance around for a bit, and make sure there's no no surprises. Bad no things. surprises. <laughs> Um, it's a good chance yeah, to, it is. <laughs> to eat my meal. <laughs> yeah, it is oh. worth noting that you could have backed out too if you had popped out in this environment and there was mm-hmm. a, a baddie waiting for you. You could nope right out of there if you yeah, wanted. Yeah, to, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just love that all these new abilities just give you a brand new way to interact with the environment and to play. Right. Mm-hmm. I wanna look at that. Can I can I poke it? No. I, nope. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Stay on task. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> boing, boing. We are taking the nice off <laughs> off road route. Over Listen, here. that's where the good stuff is. Like I or I haven't found anything yet, but uh, I'm I, I mean, always like s- taking those side roads and just to see. We're still I'm heading in the right general direction. So Let's see what's up. Oh, well, I guess you know, oh, bad guys. That's another what captain construct. Mm, I want to change to this. Time to but show off your. Um, I want to see. Oh, oh, look. he's fusing. What's he got? Oh, he, oh, oh, he also embracing you. the Whoa. power of fire. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they seem like they're having a lot of fun, but I want to kind of join in. Oh, choo-choos. oh, wow. um, that looks... I, you know, he handled himself. Yeah, yeah he did. He really did not well. need my help, but also, um, I want that thing that you have, sir. Please so be very I... careful. Yeah. Listen, I have the power of fire on my side. Oh what my could God. go wrong? Oh. Was that not beautiful? Well, you that made very short work of that. Very thing. nice. Yeah. Wait, yeah, can yeah. you just can I show show off your yeah. sword for uh, a second? Yes. Because... Look, I turned it into a rod of beautiful fireball, uh, like, fireball, fireball shooting. That is uh, everything weaponry. I want in a weapon right I know, yeah, that's but also... And you still were able to just hit him over the head with it. And he dropped this fun little thing. Hold oh, on, hold on. I need to embrace <laughs> now for a ready. moment <laughs> the <laughs> true power of fire. Yes. I mean, that worked out really well, especially in a cold environment. That was great. That's um, great. And now that you're clearly, very clearly set up for success. <laughs> Kay, would you like to take over? Sure. You have the power of fire on your... I your appreciate that. And you know, with great power comes great responsibility and so I'm going to <laughs> run <unequip laughs> the fire. <laughs> Kay said no. <laughs> uh, Kay said I don't trust myself with a weapon like that. <laughs> so That's I'm fair. actually going to um, create one of my favorite shields. Yes, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna... A meat shield. Make a meat shield. That's my favorite thing to do. My question, I have two questions. Yes. One, is it useful? Two, is it delicious? Yes and yes. Dope. Okay. I support it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to restock on some stuff in here. Always take think... the bomb flowers. Always. Always okay. take the bomb flowers. <laughs> um, also, always destroy the deposit. Absolutely. You never know what stuff you're going to find. Also, can we talk about how beautiful this cave is? Right? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the... 
the huge tree roots. And the I mist. Mm-hmm. love it. I this is my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. For the roots good. and such. Mm -hmm. Let's go up and see what we have here. I think we're pretty close to our destination by now. Oh. It's a fun little oh, friend. Hello. Hello, friend. I, uh, Question mark. I have some tasty meat for you. Do you like like it? <laughs> <laughs> it like likes you. Maybe sure a little too much. <laughs> oh, okay, well, but it, it liked my hammer better More than, than your my shield. shield. That's yeah. that's okay. That one that one hurt and it's distracted. You didn't ask for dietary restrictions, Kay. You're so right. Maybe that's it's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna just Eat this surf and turf. Yeah. <laughs> Heal up that damage because that was a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll just take this Reaper out. That, that seems like it would be a good idea. All right. Well, that was a like like. And they are not new to the series, but they're new to this title. I really like like <laughs> that they're back. I, I appreciate it. They, they are, are actually terrifying, yeah, though. Yeah, actually. <laughs> like, Really, like, look how gross it is. <laughs> like, is I do not, ruling? I do not want to come across one of these in the middle of a dark cave. No, Let I, me tell oh you. no! <laughs> Let me tell you. Candy. This one seems like it's guarding a treasure chest. Yeah. And, oh, do you want to go for it? I do not, <laughs> because that is just an accident waiting to happen. So see you later. <laughs> I do not want to experience a like like belly again. That was not fun. <laughs> And we're coming out into the cold environment again. And uh, I have about two minutes left on my cold resistance, but I don't like ha being on a timer. So I'm just going to put some warm sweats on. Sweet. And now I'm I'm good to go, even if that resistance wears off. I assume you can find those around here somewhere, maybe? Yep. I think so. You'll you have think? to take a look and see for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you for that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Pick up all those, yep. all those choo-choo jellies. Gab is all about the fire, but I'm all about the ice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we, we, we balance each other out. <laughs> <laughs> and right. Billy's just about explosions, so... Yeah, I can get behind that, too. <laughs> um, so we are trying to get up there. The shrine is right there. Um, but this, this wall here is covered in ice. And uh, it's a little slippery. A little bit. <laughs> a little a little bit. I don't think we'll be able to I, I don't think I'll be able to make that, especially not with the equipment I currently have. But we do have um, some trees over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna cut down a few trees and try to make something I can climb up. Um, I don't have an axe. I have some sharp weapons, but I don't wanna really ruin their durability. But I do have this stone shield that Billy made. This this wonderful And what? when when in doubt, <laughs> uh, be <clears throat> A little creative <laughs> and out of the box. Take that treat. <laughs> Take that and that just and so one of those. And can I make it? Oh, oh, so close. Well, I guess I'll just. But this is what I was saying, right? Like you can turn shields into into axes, weapons, yeah. and like useful, like just tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really you absolutely helpful. Absolutely can. Um, so there is another sharp rock down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fuse it to my thick stick and now I have a big axe. Big boy axe. Big boy axe. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut down one more tree because I don't think two is gonna cut it. There we go. Nice. That was really nice. Okay, and then we are just gonna fuse these babies together. And I am kind of a perfectionist when it Beautiful. comes to building stuff, so it always <laughs> takes me a really long time because I'm like, uh, no, I want it to be perfect. Billy and I, on the other hand, are like, oh, it's, it's on works. there, it worked. <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> uh, okay, this is not quite right still. <laughs> it's a little difficult to do this when the logs are rolling. There we go. I thought you did pretty great yeah. considering <laughs> it was moving. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the thing I really love about Ultra Hand. It's really easy to quickly grab and manipulate items mm -hmm. and put them together, or yeah. make them do what you want them to do. You know what? We are gonna. That's pretty. That's pretty. We're, we're gonna great. go with it. We're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna go with it. This will give me a little bit of a a boost, and I'm just gonna stick it right here, and hope it doesn't fall on me. Uh, <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> I, I felt every 
everyone <laughs> cringe on this couch. <laughs> but we're fine, you guys. Look, we're fine. We're totally not going to fall I when I get to the to top. <laughs> Hey, we I, did it. We did Look it. At that. We did it. That was a little precarious, but we managed to climb <laughs> up the, the wall using our, our makeshift ladder. And obviously, that's not the only solution. Mm -hmm. um, so please look forward to being able to test out a bunch of uh, different things. Um, so now with this beautiful vista here, uh, we are at the shrine. And that's all the time we have for this segment. So... Thank you very much for tuning in. We've got a lot more in store for you. Um, sit tight and we'll be back soon. See you later. Now that we've seen some abilities, I think we've explored a lot on the Great Sky Island. I think I'd like to uh, actually thank our guests for joining us. We have, on behalf of the entire Zelda development team, the director of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Hinamaru Fujibayashi. Thank you so much for joining us. Now you're coming all the way from Japan to New York City. How do you like New York? Uh, ずっと日本からこの現場を動画とかでよく見てたんですけど、その本場に一度は行ってみたいと思ってて、今日夢が叶ってすごく喜んでます。嬉しいです。so, you know, this is actually my first time in New York, and I've seen uh, what New York is like from TV and, and uh, movies and footage and whatnot, so I've been kind of dreaming about it. So it's great to actually finally be here. It's like a dream come true. Now, one of the things New York is known for is New York steak. And Link likes to enjoy a little bit of steak as well in the game. So did you get to enjoy some? あのニューヨークといえばやはりニューヨークステーキが有名でリンクもステーキを作るのが好きなんですが、あのニューヨークステーキは召し上がれましたでしょうか。そうなんですよね。もうリンクも好きなだけあって、僕もステーキは大好き
遊ばれてたお客様がソーシャルメディアとかでよく、えー、記憶をね一度消してもう一度、えー、最初から遊びたいっていうようなコメントをよく僕は目にしてたんですけども、えー、それをまさに「ティアーズ・オブ・ザ・キングダム」では実現しているかなと思っています。えー、ブレス・オブ・ザ・ワイルドをプレイされた時と同じかそれ以上の、えー、驚きや感動っていうものが用意されているはずですので、えー、されてますそしてまた、えー、同じように謎解きやストーリーが一新されていますのでぜひ、えー、体験していただいて遊んでもらってまたあの感動を体験してもらいたいですね。You know, I remember a couple of social media posts that were posted by、uh, Breath of the Wild players, and they had mentioned that they wish they could clear out or reset their memories and play the game again. And that's exactly what we want to、uh, realize with the Tears of the Kingdom.、Uh, we really built the game such that you can really have the same experience that players have had when they first played Breath of the Wild, or perhaps even better. And with that, we've in,、uh, added an entirely new set of puzzles, an entirely new story that you can really、uh, put your、uh, teeth into. So I really,、um, really implore the, everybody to kind of have a clean slate in terms of memory as they embark on their adventure. Well, let's talk about the players for a little bit because obviously there's different elements of the game. So, what element would you say the development team is most excited about? Seeing fans and players experience. あの要素がいっぱいあって、まあ、開発チームが最も期待してそしてプレイヤーがどのようにするかという点で最も興味がある要素というのは何でしょうかこれまでのツリーハウスライブでもいろいろと、えーね、実演されていたんですけれどもお客様がリンクの新しい能力を使って、えー、想像しても僕たちが想像もしていなかったような武器とか乗り物っていうものを作られるんじゃないかなと思っていて、まあ、そういったユニークなものを見ることができるのをすごく楽しみにしています。You know, as it was already demonstrated through、uh, the Treehouse Live segments, I think that with the use of、uh, Link's new abilities, people are going to be able to create weapons,、uh, vehicles that really go beyond the imagination of even us, the dev team. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of unique creations come out of this. All right, now. You've been working on Tears of the Kingdom for quite some time now. So, how does it feel to finally be releasing the game? And does it feel like, you know, to see the excitement of fans? So, how does that feel? あの今回の今作の開発には何年も携わっていて、まあ、今やっとリリースに至ってそしてここのイベントにあの参加しているファンの盛り上がりを見て今どのように感じていますでしょうかそうですねもうその皆さんと同じように僕も今すごく興奮しています。でたくさんのね今回のゲームには隠し要素とか謎解きがもう世界各地に散りばめて作ってありますのでその、えー、ハイラルの大地をゆっくりと探索して、まあ、楽しんでもらいたいと思っています。You know, simply put and honestly put, I'm just as excited. There's really countless hidden secrets and puzzles strewn across the world. So it would, I would, you know, I'd really love it if you just take your time. And really take all that the land of Hyrule has to offer you in this new adventure. All right, well, you heard it right here. Take your time going on this new adventure. Ray, thank you so much for translating. Fuji Bayashi san, thank you so much for joining us. And with that, I think it's time that we head into our next segment with the Nintendo Treehouse team. Hello, and welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. My name is Kendra, and I'm up here with my friends Jose and Sam, and we are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.、Um, we are down spelunking in a cave at the moment, and we're going to talk a bit more about caves, but one thing I also want to say right out of the gate is that we're going to be introducing a brand new ability、uh, later on in the segment. So stick around. We have not shown it anywhere yet, and we're really pumped to show you. But let's get right into it, into this cave that we are exploring. Exploring. So,、um, one thing about caves in this game is that they are far more expansive than they were in Breath of the Wild. So,、um, you know, Zelda games are all about exploration. They're all about、um, just looking all over the place, looking for things to find. And previously in Breath of the Wild, you know, we would explore above ground. In this game, we're going to explore above ground, we're going to explore up in the sky, and we're going to explore underground. So, Sam, you want to talk a little more about this? Super rad cave we're in? Yeah. So,、uh, 
caves were obviously in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but they're much more prominent in, in Tears of the Kingdom. And part of the reason for that is because the, the world of Hyrule in Tears of the Kingdom has experienced a, an event called the upheaval. And the upheaval has... Uh, changed the landscape in many ways. The castle has risen into the air, some sky islands have appeared, but it's also opened up and exposed all of these cave systems all over the place. And you can find entrances to these caves um, just running around exploring in a field, you might find an entrance, or climbing on a cliffside and you might find an entrance into one of these caves. And as you mentioned before, they're they're much more expansive than they were before. Like you never know what you're gonna find down in the in these caves. Like, like a like like. like. A like, like. <laughs> yeah. Super gross looking. And you've already found so much stuff just in the few minutes right. we've been in here. You've but done some mining. You've gotten some good good oh, ores. Yeah. We, we got to talk about, yeah, I'm like, we got to <laughs> talk about the hood because, yes. wow. Yeah, so let's take a quick look. This is Ravio's hood, which is a returning item from the Breath of the Wild. You may remember that in Breath of the Wild, this was tied to the Champion's Ballad, and it was a treasure that you can find out in the world. Uh, I'm here to tell you, you can actually find this out in your adventures during Tears of the Kingdom, which is really you cool. You too yeah. can look this cool. Oh, yeah. And I, I cool. Ravio is a Internet. personal favorite character. Um, but let's change up the fashion a little bit and let's put on oh, okay. the Ember headdress. Super cool. Yeah. So Love check it. this out. You may recognize this headdress the from... The giant rocks. Yes, the giant rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Those really add to it, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but this it's headdress part of your ensemble. was in trailer three uh, and looked really cool. You may have noticed Link using it uh, on horseback, which was really neat. And I'm also going to switch up the pants real quick. I think oh, real quick, yeah. Can you go back yeah. to the headdress? Oh, yeah, so sure. We can look at the, um, yeah, so this is a new piece of armor, like you mentioned. But with it comes a new armor ability, that hot weather attack mm -hmm. that's there. So there are going to be new armor abilities that are tied to new pieces of armor in this yeah. game. So I've got a rock hammer, and you saw me break through some walls earlier. It takes a couple swing, uh, but there is a more efficient way to do this. So we're going to switch on over to a two-handed weapon, a thick stick. And we're going to use fuse on this round rock over here. I, I just want to mention real quick, we're going to stay away from that like like because yeah, we, we know what happens <laughs> when you get close to a like like. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but look at this hammer, though. Look how much more efficient this is for digging yeah. and nice. kind of getting through. I'm going to break this all down just because I get really caught up in Ooh, breaking Go everything. get that. Go get that. All right. I'm going to quietly. So quiet. Quietly. So all right. Come here. All right, <laughs> nice. So nice. It's a sticky lizard. So let's check out the description. Yeah. You could see there it says it could be an asset for a climber on wet surfaces if it were mixed into an elixir. So if you played Breath of the Wild, you know that climbing while it was raining it could be a trying experience. So <laughs> That's a being nice able way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Being able to make an elixir to, to help with that is, is a big, a big deal. All right, so we're There's back our to our like like, which friend. you know we're gonna try and avoid. And I'm going to switch shields because in a prior segment we showed you the spring zone eye device, and we showed you know to spring you into the air. You can fuse it to a shield or to a weapon. I'm right, use and it back to my shield. Enemies will bounce off of it when they attack it mm -hmm. when it's on your shield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's but a if you shield tool. surf, well. Hang on. Let's, well, there we go. Oh! Hey. You got like a pogo oh, action. It's oh, so cool. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a little too pogo. It's but like a big pogo stick. Yeah, yeah. The first time you showed that to me in the office, I, I shouted something really loud. <laughs> oh, I hope sure. I hope nobody was around. Yep. So I, I was, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I was there. Let me tell you, it was loud. <laughs> so the bomb flower I picked up. I didn't know I you could up, do that. Yeah. I picked up a bomb flower, and you'll see here that you can fuse it to an arrow. And of course, there were bomb arrows in the previous game, but here you're improvising them with uh, materials, which is all about fuse and what it does. Um, I'm actually going to switch my shield back because well, there is a nice that those up. bombs were there because it allowed you a different way to get through that wall. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay, oh. and you are really actually going yeah. to leave it alone this Yeah, <laughs> look at the little stone These pedlet. little ones are yeah. super cute. They have they really cute little legs, and Jose is going <laughs> to oh, kill it. They Gosh. are <laughs> going to survive. Violently, too. Oh. Look, we're not here to make friends, all right? If, uh, if it had been a little friendlier, maybe. <laughs> um, if you want to save arrows, you can throw bombs instead, which I'm going to do here. Uh, you definitely want to keep yeah, an eye on arrows. Yeah, stand back. Yep, stand back, let her rip, Boom. let the explosion happen. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, this is really cool. So this is this is clearly an an existing structure yep. that we're walking into now that that is that someone has no. built. No. And this is like <laughs> I'm sorry, no. is it, it's sorry. integrated into part of the cave system. Yeah, which is this neat. is like you've kind of broken into this uh, this out. area. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it really makes you wonder like, what else you're going to find down here. Right. I'll like tell you another what, like, like, like. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. 
Uh, not dealing with that. But I am going to check what's in these rocks over here. Okay. A conspicuous set of rocks. Yep. And there's a chest. So let's just ultra hand. It's not just for attaching items. To right. Let me just pull this out. There you go. Put it over here. I had that revelation when I was pulling rush rooms mm -hmm. off of a wall with ultra hand. I was like, oh, I could just use it to reach things. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that. Uh, oh, cool. And the, the, uh, the item that you've just found. Yes, the item that I just got is a pretty good charge sword uh, that I like. Uh, yeah, it has a, it has an ability on it that charge attack stamina up. Yep, very very cool. And actually, uh, before I try something on this, like, like I'm just gonna drop yeah, you're, another you're sword scheming. over here. Yeah, I'm scheming. I just want this spear for later because it'll probably be helpful. So now I'm not gonna throw the sword. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. We just got that. You're Instead, gonna throw meat. I'm so all you're about throw the, a stick. I'm all about the details in these games. And one of my favorite things is kind of experiment with enemies and just to see what they respond to. Yeah. If you played Breath of the Wild, you know that they would respond to Ew. critters and things <laughs> oh. in the world. Uh, what you didn't know is that like like uh, do enjoy their choice meets. Oh, you're just uh, running right up under them, huh? But we I also am. we're also experimenting to see how smart the like like is. Yes, yes. We're Let's gonna find see. out. I suppose we'll it's see. It's gotta finish eating that snack. Well distracted. And are we'll you intelligent? <laughs> not no! very, not very. Okay, not. cool. Right. Oh, bye. Oh, I yeah. mean, that's a that's a classic way to attack a like like. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, in, in previous Zelda games, that's oh, what you yeah. might do. Jose. What? Jose. If it doesn't swing, Jose. I'll leave it alone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> one. Uh, they are right. enemies, Kendra. They will attack you. That will mean a little. It's <laughs> fine. All right, I'm gonna switch up my shield and my base weapon. Uh, I'm using a just to show folks uh, extra durable wooden stick, which is gonna be useful because we have actually this blue rock over here is much more difficult to get through. Mm -hmm. It's just a little more resilient. And so in order to avoid that, and just to show folks, right, because we want to demonstrate this, um, you'll see that just a couple of swings of this hammer, it's not breaking as yeah, quickly gonna, as it was earlier. Right. Yeah, so. Wait, uh, we don't have time for that. We don't. No. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to the stick. I'm going to go over to my Zonai devices, and I happen to have two cannons here. Uh, actually, I actually have a bunch of cannons, but I'm going to take two of them out. I'm going to drop them right in front of me, and then I'm going to use Fuse, and I'm going to make a cannon club uh, and a cannon shield. And, like, check me out. Like, nice. I am ready to dig. That looks yeah. pretty sweet. Really could look. <laughs> Only slightly ridiculous. It's intense. Mostly uh, very cool. That's intense. If you want to stand back, or you can use the R button to throw, instead you'll aim the cannon shot, which I think is the better way to do this. Yeah. Um, but you can also use your shield and just go out. Oh, oh, I want to mention real quick, yes, Zonai devices are powered by your energy cell. And as you could see down there, yep. we've expanded this energy cell, um, which is something that you're going to be able to do throughout the course of your game, is permanently upgrade the capacity of that energy cell. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got some okay. enemies up here on a little bridge. I want to prepare for this because being prepared before battle is probably better than improvising as you go. I'm going to switch over to a two-handed. You could just run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, just and charge. I have. Yeah. Charge. <laughs> uh, here's my soldier's shield. I'm going to drop it. Um, you may have seen this in the last trailer, uh, specifically trailer three for Tears of the Kingdom. Right. But you can now fuse a shield to a two-handed weapon. And what comes with this is actually super cool because you'll notice the ready stance is very different. Mm -hmm. It's more defensive. And so if I run up to this enemy right here, you'll see that when <laughs> uh, this little goblin takes a swing at me, I can block. Yeah, that's nice. really neat. Like we've, we've seen how you could turn a shield into an offensive weapon uh, in a previous segment by attaching materials or weapons to it, yeah. or even Zonai devices like the cannon that you have. Yeah. But by fusing that shield to your two-handed weapon, you now no longer have to sacrifice defense. Because oh. if you remember, with a two-handed weapon before, you couldn't ready a shield. Uh, because both of your hands were occupied. And, yep. and now you have that defense. <laughs> and you can also play keep away. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and done. All right. So. But yeah, let's take a moment just to look at where we are. Yeah, I mean, this is a out. really neat environment. And well, and what I love is that you don't know what you're going to find as you continue spelunking through the cave, right? Like every single wall you break through brings you into a new area. There might be enemies, there might be treasure. There might be structures down there, um, so it's Ooh. it's definitely yeah, very good stuff. Good stuff. Interesting oh. checking yep. out these Agreed. different areas. And I mean, looks like it goes on that, too, but it, we're not going to go in it that. Does. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, we could 
We could definitely go there. But... To, to Kendra's point, even the enemies in this game are now treasure mm -hmm. because of the materials that you can get from them mm. and how you can use them in Fuse. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, you know, the the materials that you get from, from an enemy can now power up your weapons and make them really strong. So it's worthwhile to come down into these caves oh, yeah. and to see what you can find. Yeah. And I, I said this um, previously in our in our previous segment, but I am really stoked to see what people out in the world create. I just can't wait Ooh. to see. I want there's going to be a lot of <laughs> there's going to be a lot of contraptions out there. Oh yeah, totally. Sorry. Are you I'm, not grabbing that arm? I am going to grab that arm. Grab uh, that arm. And I'm Oops. going to use one second. There it is. Ah, nice. Ultra Hand. I can use Ultra Hand in so many different ways. I want to specifically fuse this uh, to a sword, so I'm going to do that over here. <laughs> this is my nice broadsword, and if I get a yeah. better camera, <laughs> yep. check that out. Yep. It's pretty good. Good reach. Pretty Still pretty wiggling good. around on yep. the end there. Yeah. All right. Let's just go back up through here really quick. And Slightly boom. sentient arm. Ascend yes. is so useful. Dude, it's I, so yeah. useful. Yeah, 100%. It's one of my favorite things to use constantly in the game. Uh, let me just use my rock hammer again because I really want to check these ores. I'm all about like seeing what they drop. You've gotten so much stuff down here. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. And yeah, there's, just, and there's oh, I know, peace, I'm like, there's even more. Uh, oh, Topaz, we got lucky. All yes. Right, so that's good. Uh, just pick up all this bright blue. Nice. Once again, we mentioned in a previous segment that the, the precious stones have elemental properties now, so they're not just useful for selling for rupees or upgrading mm -hmm. equipment. Like, now you... You can use them, use them to make really powerful weapons. Yeah, I was going to say, use oh, them yeah. in battle. Yeah, and, and uh, I am especially a big fan of going after Keese now, just given how many different... Uh-oh. Uh, don't hit me. Yeah. Don't hit me. <laughs> oh, shield. no. Your shield. <laughs> All right, this is bad. Wait. Ready the cannon. Oh, oh God. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. The shot against the wall. That's what did it. Totally planned. Um, <laughs> let's break through this rock wall and just see what we find. See so. what's back there. Should be some ore. I hope. Yep. Yeah. All right. nice. And notice Ooh, that the, the ore gold. in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, the gold sparkly ore. Yeah, which is a good chance for something good. Although sometimes I have been disappointed. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> should see. mention, yeah, you, you fused this uh, stone to this weapon, and it's a really great smashing weapon. Great for breaking rocks <laughs> or mining. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but one of the cool things about Tears of the Kingdom is that in in Breath of the Wild, you would have had to dedicate. Uh, space in your weapon stash to holding a smashing weapon. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you don't have to do that. You could just make one when you need it. Yeah. yeah. So right. now we have made it to this point where obviously there's water and we want to get beyond the water to, well, what lies beyond. <laughs> um, and this is the perfect opportunity to introduce the um, brand new ability that I mentioned earlier on um, at the beginning, which is called Auto Build. So as the name yes. implies, it automatically builds things for you. It is so amazing. You're going to want to use it a lot. Um, but we'll just break down the menus for a second here. So um, we've got schematics, which you will find um, from side quests. You'll find them in treasure chests. You'll find them out in the world. Um, and then we've got uh, history, which is all the th things that you've previously built. It'll hold up to 30 of those for you. And then finally, um, you can favorite things. Um, you can favorite up to eight things at a time, and then it pops up at the top of the menu. So uh, Jose just favorited this little contraption mm -hmm. that he's going to build to help us get across the water. Yep. So just for an image, you're going to see that it needs a fan and it needs a control stick. And one way that you can use auto build is that you'll jump into your inventory. You'll take out the devices that you need for it. So these are Zonite capsules that I have. I'm going to just quickly drop them on the ground. And you know what? Just to switch things up a little bit, I'm also going to add a battery. The battery is super useful it will basically power the device so that it doesn't have to use my energy cell. Right. Now I'm going to open up uh, Auto Build again. Here I am, staring at favorites. We know the boat that we want to make. So it's going to attach the two pieces, but notice that we don't have the board. Uh, however, there is a cost associated with sort of generating a material that you don't have. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's three Zonite. Um, and Zonite is a new material that you can find in the game. Oh, yeah. Um, and then quickly, you'll notice that it didn't grab the battery because that wasn't part of the design. Mm -hmm. But if I yeah, do it, that. I get a little notification reminding me that now I can uh, favorite that design instead, or the design's been changed and it's all part of my history, which is neat. So we've got a boat. We've and got a boat. Yeah, and we didn't have the building materials here in this cave 
to, to make this, mm -hmm. but using AutoBuild, we could generate the materials that we didn't have, like that, that wooden board. And you could see it has that light green color, and that's an indicator that that was made with zonite and not with um, a real material that you had. So if you try and break it down... Yeah, I could take the control stick off. To yeah, point. You, you could take off the pieces that you had, but if you try and uh, take off a piece that was generated with zonite, it will disappear, like, no like Jose it goes, showed. Yeah. Cool. All right. Whoa, so look at where it takes... Big, big cave. Yeah. Uh, this big cavern here very with a ominous giant, deal. giant pile of rocks in the center. Yep. So I want to dig through that, but I don't want to use uh, cannon clubs anymore. Let's improvise something really fast. Uh, we're going to take a spring, a battery, and a cannon, and we're going to make a turret. <laughs> Somewhere. Obviously, we're going to blow the rocks up because that's what you do down right. here. You oh, blow yeah. up rocks. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to switch to. And you're going to do it efficiently. Here. Yes. Uh, so I'm trigger that <laughs> because if I don't, this makeshift device is going to spring into the air and then start firing, and that's a hot mess. Yeah. So let's not do we, that. We know what happens when yeah. when you do that. Well, yep. so you're so you're building this now, and um, obviously we just introduced you to auto build, but mm -hmm. now you have built that, mm -hmm. so that means that it's going to show up in your auto build history, yep. which now allows you to, instead of having to recreate the same thing all over again from scratch, you just pop right into your auto build, pull up the history, and boom, you're going to make that right. Sweet. Right. Bam. And even though you have a spring and a cannon and a battery in your inventory, mm -hmm. because you haven't pulled them out ahead of time, now we're going to generate the entire device with Zonite. Mm -hmm. And you could see that the Zonite cost was a little bit higher there, mm -hmm. but it's it's a really great way to be able to use to make one of these contraptions on the fly. Yeah, well, and consider what materials you want to use, right? right. Like, yep. do you want to expend the zonite, or do you want to use um, what you've got on hand? This is okay. very and yeah. way You've got a friend yeah, under here. So those cannons made really quick work of that rock. They did. We found, <laughs> we found underneath, we found a stall nox. All right, so I'm going to fuse some weapons really having quick. Having a nap. While Woke it figures out nap. what it's doing. Uh, let me, yeah, it was having a nap, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So a Stalnox is a returning boss from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yep. And but we'll take uh, a good look at them. And the yeah. cannons are doing some work, though, which is helpful. The, it looks a little eye, bit different. Yeah, I was going to say, the eye is very obviously the weak point. Um, it's like the one squishy part of this creature. So we're going to see if we can get that eye to come out right. by, hitting, by hitting him in the shit. Oh, hey. oh. <laughs> oh first steps. Right. Thank goodness for the fairy. Oh, this is okay. Got him the bus. Yeah, get out. That's good. <laughs> He's gonna run for it. Uh, just, but you could see that cool space. new horn on top of his head, and that's a that's a really useful material in fuse. Like you can make a really powerful weapon. Oh yeah. Let's take a closer look real quick. We're talking about that. Yeah. And, oh, watch out. <laughs> just throwing some ribs at you. <laughs> yep, yep, totally. Like you right. do. Now digging out an explosive barrel. And we are going to send that back because we don't want it. Using a recall. Yes. So recall nice. is probably my Super favorite ability cool. in the game. Oh, he's got another one. Yep. Yeah. So obviously you can see the way Jose is using. Um, we used auto build. We're using recall. We're using many things at our disposal to attack this very large Fuse. creature. Hey, nice. and we got the eyeball out. So right. yeah, as Kendra mentioned, the eyeball is the weak spot. And, Get it uh, into the water. And when you, yes. when you hit it with a dead-on shot like that, it'll pop out, and it has its own health bar. And if you can get that health bar down, then then you'll win yep. the battle. Bye-bye, Stalnox. Instead, yeah. we're going to use it as a distraction because we're a little short for time. Yeah. I put a bomb on a shield mm -hmm. earlier, and I just wanted to use it nice. for style. Very get stylish. out of here. Yeah. Bombs on shields are really helpful, and yeah. it's yeah. not we, we just for shield surfing. I was going to say, we don't, we don't have time to hang out with this Stalnox who we very rudely awakened yeah. from the his Stalnox, slumber. It has yeah. a lot of health. We don't have a lot of time. Well, that piece of material, we actually have one. Uh, Sam, what's the story on this? Yeah, so, <laughs> Sam, so tell us the story, if Sam. you were to defeat that Stalnox, you would get a Stalnox horn. You would get this material. We got this one. We put it in our inventory ahead of time, uh, for, probably from that Stalnox's brother in a different cave. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but take take a look at it when you fuse it to a weapon. Not only does it look really neat, you got these okay, shattering. Can we? Yeah, oh, I mean, like, can we okay. just turn <laughs> around? Because you know <laughs> he's go. close. Yeah. But look at what quick work. <laughs> This Stalnox horn fused to a weapon is making with these blue rocks. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is absolutely Okay, And the, the that hole is definitely not big enough for that Stalnox. Yeah, through. we're safe. We're yeah. safe. Just got to hope that. He's uh, he's trying to he's trying to take revenge for his brother <laughs> that you, you took out, man. Yeah. 
All right, so you'll But see. yeah, now we're in this cool new cave. It's like filled with luminous stone. It's got all this uh, explosions are moss. happening. <laughs> it's fine. All this moss covering the walls. Like it's really cool down here. Well, and this is all um, a bunch of this is going to be ore that you can right. mine and. Yeah, but we could take stock for a moment of all this that we've just found in one cave. Yeah, like, no, we've been I mean, down we here found for some a great minute. mining. We found some treasure. Mm-hmm. We found a, a boss fight. And we and found now, more enemies. Yep. So uh, this oh, is a horror yeah. one. Who wants to set this up? Yeah, so these are these are new enemies in Tears of the Kingdom. And you typically find them in cave or dark environments. And they're they're really aggressive. You can see them crawling around on the ceiling up there. Yeah. They're they're really difficult to reach as a result of that. Mm -hmm. And they'll they'll sit up there and they'll pelt you with rocks. Yep. And we're just gonna enter into their home yeah. and shake things up a little bit. That's kind of like I feel like that's the theme of this. Just, one. just, just like stirring it up and then just walking away. People's homes, waking oh, them yeah. up from naps. You know. Check out the spear that I made. Those. Yeah. Spear. Oh, oh, nice. So okay, that has them. long. Yeah, that has long range yeah. for sure. Ooh, can you poke them off the ceiling? I'm gonna try. Please don't hit me. Nice work. All right. And <laughs> yeah. That hold, looks painful. Hold yeah, this tush. Does not like to be on the ground. All right, clearly. Now let's grab the choo choo jelly. Oh, oh nice. nice! Why not freeze? Um, and let's uh, take this one for a ride, actually. So we've got a board guster here. I gotta watch it. Though, <laughs> uh, the enemy has oh, they're tossing rocks, and they're gonna toss rocks at me. Um, Bye. Instead, I'm gonna where, hit where this enemy you? with the Stalnox Crusher we were using a second ago. Oh, Smasher. nice. Okay. Um, just to show how much damage that will do. Ooh. Oh, oh no. that's definitely Man. a good mark. All right. <laughs> not and a good day for this one. No, don't go. There we go. Nice. Wow. Right, got one. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Now let's Jose. steal a stuff and oh, another one's here. <laughs> I think it's time to leave. <laughs> yeah. These these horrible ones have <laughs> oh, <run. laughs> they, <laughs> they have a fair bit of health and again we don't we don't have a ton of time. Yeah. All right. Let's go for the exit. So yeah, we've obviously been down in this cave for quite some time. I have no idea how much time, no idea, but it's been a while. And super cool thing Jose is gonna show now is that um, no matter how far into a cave you are, you can use Ascend to get out of that cave. So you don't necessarily have to backtrack all the way back from where you came. You can pop up using Ascend. You can check it out and be like, okay, where am I now? Do I wanna get out yeah. here? Uh, maybe not. And then you can go <laughs> back down and keep exploring. Um, I just feel like that's so awesome, mm -hmm. especially yeah. considering how very expansive these caves are. The ability to do that is kind of a game changer. And speaking to that, yeah, there is more to this cave that we haven't mm -hmm. shown. Oh, no, yeah. Like it, even, it keeps going. It keeps going, but yeah, we are just about out of time. So um, we're going to we're gonna call it there, but um, thank you so much for taking us on that adventure, Jose. Oh, yeah. 100%. So fun. Um, and yeah, thanks for checking out Auto Build with us and um, all that there is down in the caves. Obviously, you're going to be able to explore much more your, on your own. Um, stick around. We've got more coming after this. Thank you so much. Bye. Auto build's going to be very interesting to use auto build. I'm really excited for that. But before we move on to our final segment, we have one last representative from the development team here with us today, the producer of the Legend of Zelda series, E.G. Ayanuma. Welcome. And we have Ethan joining us as well to translate. Now, how does it feel to be in New York? New York, ね、あの、えっと、ニューヨークにいて、あの、どのカンソーでしょうか。ね、あの、えっと、ニューヨークは私、今、タイムスクエアっていうところに来てるわけですけど、あの、タイムスクエアのビルボードにね、大きなあの
Have you seen any interesting things that fans have been talking about maybe on social media? まあ、あのゲームはすでにあの日本でローンチあのされていると思うんですけれどもあの、まあえー、SNS 等であの日本のファンたちから何か面白いことをピックアップされているんでしょうかあの、ね、もう本当にツイッターにたくさんの,その、えっと、自分がこんなの作ったよっていうあの、ね、ウルトラハンドルこうもの作れますけどそれをこう自分なりにこ,うこんなの作ったよってどんどん上がってきてて中にはですね始まりの空島でほとんどそんなあの何か組み立てるようなものがないんだけどそこら辺にある木,木箱とかそれから板,板切れとかあとねこうあのフックみたいのがあるんですけど落ちてるんですけどそれを組み合わせて巨大なロボットを作ってる人がいてびっくりしました。Yeah, I mean, I've been checking a little bit, and fans are, in Japan are already hard at work. And、um, one thing I saw was there was a, a fan who was on Great Sky Island near the beginning of the game、uh, in an area where you know, they had、uh, gotten the ability Ultra Hand, and they had found some boxes and boards、um, and some hooks that were laying around, and they'd already put them together to build this crazy looking giant robot.、Yeah. ゼルダ休みっていうワードがですねあのトレンドに上がっていてこれどういう意味かっていうとあのゼルダを遊ぶために会社休むっていうことなんですけどそれを最近は会社が認めてくれるらしいんですねあのそんなことになってんだってちょっと驚きました。And one other thing, I, I also noticed that there is a term、uh, trending on Twitter in Japan、um, called the Zelda Break or Zelda Vacation,、um, which is something that apparently、uh, fans have taken up and saying you know, that they're going to take the day off. And I've even heard there are cases where certain companies are like, allowing this. And I saw this kind of thing and was super surprised. Are you going to take a Zelda Vacation? まあ、これからもあの青沼さんもゼルダ休み取るんですか<笑>あの僕は遊ぶ作る人ですから休んでたら作れないんで<笑>。I'm somebody who makes the game, so if I'm taking a break, the games don't get made. All right, that is fair, that is fair. Speaking of games that you've made, what are some games that you've worked on? まあ、あのゲームを作るというあの話題を続いてあの、えーまあ、ゲーム青沼さん自体があの、まあえー、手がけたゲームについてあのちょっと説明していただけますかあそうですねあの私が一番最初にあの手がけた「ゼルダ」のゲームというのは「あのゼ,ゼルダの伝説」あの「時のオカリナ」っていうね今から数えると25年も前になってしまいますけど、えー、任天堂六64の,あのタイトルを作った時なんですね。Well,、um, I mean, this is kind of going a ways back、uh, 25 years ago to the time of the、uh, Nintendo 64, but the first Legend of Zelda game that I worked on was called The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. So, I was able to do that in the direction of the Wind Waker, and I was able to do that in the direction of the Wind Waker. So, I was able to do that in the direction of the Wind Waker. And so then after that,、um, I worked as a director on a number of games in the series、uh, up until the time of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker.、Um, and so that was the last game that I was the director on. And then going forward after that, I've been the producer on a number of titles. And one of those titles, of course, is Tears of the Kingdom. And you know, we're seeing from the Treehouse Live segments that there are many new systems and layers to the game. So, how did the development team manage to blend all of these together? まあ、あの今日のトゥイハウスライブを見て明らかになったのは、まあ、あのティアーズ・オブ・ザ・キンドムに新しいあシーシステムやいろんな組み合わせあ要素が入ってるんですけれども、えーまあ、開発チームではどのようにあのそ,うそういった組み合わせた要素をあの、えー、融合させてなのでしょうか、うんはいあのえっとね、今作の代表的なものとものとを組み合わせて新しい道具を作るっていう遊びはですね私がこのタイトルを続編にしようと考えていたときに、同じことを考えていた藤林さんから提案されたものだったんですね。Well, I think、um, one of the really representative gameplay elements of this game is this、uh, concept of taking one object、uh, and another object and putting them together to create something new. And this was something that、uh, Mr. Fujibashi actually suggested to me at one point. And it was around the same time that I was wondering you know, if we should make this next game a sequel. Um, and it turned out he was actually thinking something along the same lines. So, this is the first time that the engine is in the way of the engine. So, this is the first time that the engine is in the way of the engine. So, this is the first time that the engine is in the way of the engine. But, you know, what's、uh, kind of incredible was already at that time,、um, he had come up with.、Um, 
gameplay based around that theme that I just mentioned of, of bringing things together to create something new, um, you know, in a way that actually quite resembled some of the gameplay we've seen here tonight um, that early in the process. But this was something that used the game engine from the previous game. Um, and when we had gotten to that point, I realized like, oh, okay, um, I think this is what set us on the path to make this game a sequel. ね、空と大地っていうね、縦方向にこう拡張させたゲームのその間をこう行き来するような能力として通れるとか戻れこっていうのが考案されてですね、よりプレイヤーに自由な選択肢を与えるゲームになっていったっていう流れなんですね。so, you know, then along the way, we, we took that gameplay idea as kind of our core. Um, and then as we continued development, um, you know, we came up with uh, additional abilities like Ascend uh, and Recall. And these were things that, um, you know, allow the player to go back and forth between this kind of uh, world that's been newly expanded on the vertical axis. Um, and I think um, once we, we added elements like that, we kind of wound up with a game that um, really expands uh, the player's freedom of choice and uh, the things that they can choose to do in the game. There's lots of choice in this game. Um, and there's also a, a couple surprises because, you know, if you could share anything about the story development or the story that the development team hoped to tell through these gameplay decisions that you made, like maybe with the relationship between Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf. まあ、あの、ゲームプレイもすごいと思いますが、ストーリー性もあの、色々サプライズがあの待っていると思いますが、そのストーリー性についてまあ、あの語っていただけないでしょうか。あの、それとあのゲームプレイとあのそのストーリ
、まあ、あの青沼さんがプレイしている間にあのできるかなっていうあの瞬間もたくさんあったのでしょうね。うんはい<laughs> yes, I did. I had many of them myself. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ayanuma san, Ethan, for joining us. It was a pleasure. And remember, we are still counting down to the release of Tears of the Kingdom. And we have one more final look at the game from the Nintendo Treehouse team before launch. Let's see what they have to show. Hello, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. Uh, my name is Gabriel, and I'm joined by Kay and Billy. And we're going to be playing some more、uh, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And specifically, we're going to show off this cool new feature called Raids, where, you're, where、um, you're able to fight alongside NPCs. Kay, want to show us? Sure. So we're here in the Farren Grasslands, and you can see a group of NPCs hanging out, and they're looking at this kind of、uh, piratey looking ship thing. <clears throat> and there are some. Monsters aboard that look like they're up to no good. So、uh, let's go check in with、uh, Captain Flaxel. Here she is. And she is the captain of what we call a monster control crew, one of three、um, that have been sent out to、uh, get rid of some monsters.、Cool. So she's going to explain now <laughs> that. Uh, they came here to、uh, clear out the ship, but they can't get across. To the ship because the bridge is broken.、Mm -hmm. So we'll come over here and take a look. Yeah, that's pretty broken.、Oh. Um, so we actually, with Ultra Hand, have the power to help them reach the ship. We could also just jump over there and take out all the monsters ourselves, but where's the fun in that?、Um, so, and I, I, want, I like to, you know, fight with、Team、some. player. <laughs> yeah, I like some backup. I like to, to share the glory. So before we go across, I'm actually going to pull out some stuff from my inventory and because、um, I have a bunch of weapons and shields that are primed for fusing. So let's take one of these and、uh, let's see, one of these and one of these. I love it because Kay has a very clear vision right now. I do. And I, these are some of my favorite things to fuse to weapons and、mm -hmm. stuff. So I've already got fuse out. We're going to put this puff shroom on my shield.、Um, if you saw the presentation from Mr. Anuma, you saw that he did that too, and it was really cool.、Um, I'm going to put this book hoblin horn on my sword to give it a little bit extra punch.、Um, and then I've got this ice breath Lizalfo's horn. It's like one of my favorite things.、Um, and I'm going to put it on this spear. Um, there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> there we、not. go.、Um, and I will showcase this a little bit later. This is actually, it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's、actually. really awesome. <laughs>、um, I will showcase that later. We're going to start with my blue Voco Reaper and my Puff Shroom Shield. Now, let's go ahead and, oh, wait, one more thing. One more thing. I am going to pull out this. Shield. I have a Zonite shield here. This one is really handy if you have Zonite devices to fuse to it.、Mm -hmm. Gives them a little extra、mm -hmm. something, something.、Um, so I'm going to put a spring on this shield as well. You, you might have seen in previous s e g m e n t、um, how great those types of shields are. So we're going to just save that for later as well. All、Pre、right. Prepping for big encounters like this is, can be super helpful. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. And of course, as you defeat. Enemies and they drop things, you can also like fuse on the fly. So I left some of my weapons open、um, for that because I think they might have some nice, powerful horns that we might want to use later. So here I fixed the bridge with fuse by attaching one end to the other, and Flaxel is very excited. <laughs>、um, and she's about to send her monster control crew into battle. You're welcome, Flaxel. Now let's do this. <laughs> hey! Look at that. Look at that、go. energy. Look at、Here、that energy. Oh, I love it. I love it. Charge! <laughs> okay,、uh, single file, please. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to help them out a little bit to start by throwing something. Let's throw a puff shroom. Just. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, <laughs>、no. that's not very helpful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, good to know that、uh, the smoke affects everyone, not just baddies.、Yep. You know what?、Uh, we'll、so, want to be careful about that. 
Uh, yep, and they're actually also just being super cautious because they yeah. can't see anybody. So, mm -hmm. but now we've got some people in battle already. Look at him go. Yeah, yeah that's great. All right, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do, actually, I think I'm going to get some height first. I like to, my play style for battles like these is to get some high ground, mm -hmm. get a good view of the battlefield, and then um, I like to rain arrows from above. That's a good strategy. Right? And they, <laughs> they seem to have gotten most of the melee under control. So I'm going to jump from here, and I'm going to target this moblin here in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, with one of my other favorites, a Muddle Bud. This new material is going to confuse the poor deer. And I got the oh, problem, too. Yeah. <laughs> and now they're going to start, hi, <laughs> fighting on our side. While he had that slowed down, I was just looking at all the different enemies. and like, I want to steal that part. I want to steal <laughs> that part. I want to fuse that part. That's like, true. Like, listen, that Moblin that's helping you now, like, they have a huge horn that I feel like you absolutely need. We will we will get it. <laughs> we will get it done. So I don't know if you saw that, but I put my shield out and somebody hit it, and then um, they definitely exploded my puff room. So that's gone <laughs> now, but that's fine. Oh my gosh. I definitely want to see you use the spring shield. Yeah, well, I was going to try and, you know, knock, you know, bump them off of the thing, but I think this might be a good opportunity to get a little bit more air. Okay. Um, so... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and I Beautiful. know we we saw what happens when you fuse a gemstone onto a sword. Ooh. That's what happens when you blow yourself up. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna get some food real and quick. And that's why Good food timing. is that that yep. was nice save. You know? <laughs> that could have gone better, but at least we neutralized the problem and I think this is a great time to bring out my spear. Yes. Help our friends. There you go. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Beautiful. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where Where are you going? I really do like uh, the idea of just fighting alongside other like uh, you know, <laughs> citizens of of Hyrule, right? Like this is. Who? What? Where, where did you come from? A joint effort. <laughs> Like yeah, I'm just, just gonna go around and freeze you. everybody and open up some shots for my friends. Those moblins really like <laughs> chucking everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Yeah, they're each other. kind of problem. But this Bokoblin's <laughs> on our side over here. This, you know, we're doing pretty good. Do we have any, any fun? of those nice horns that we can poach while they're Ooh. busy? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Is there one over there? Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, there's yes. This. Yep. That's a big one. That's one of the moblins. Yes. So we're going to actually <clears throat> put that on this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sir, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm right a little now. busy. <laughs> That's not what I want. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm going to hit you with this fang on my sword. All right, let's try that again. Luckily, it's very easy to get rid of things when you yes. Are in the middle of combat and have to fuse something in a pinch. There we go. Now I've got a oh, nice that, hammer. Yeah, that added some serious. Oh, yeah, that sweet. was beautiful. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, you, sir, are a problem. <laughs> you missed. You missed. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how you hit somebody yep. with an arrow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh! Oh. There we go. Ooh, okay. Yep, Good. that's a problem. You know what? I think I need. He's gonna throw that goblin at me. All right. <laughs> Let's try this again. I I'm gonna come up here. Oops. Up. Thank you. The sun can really get you out of some precarious. It's situation. really handy. Mm -hmm. It really, really is. Especially on stages like this, where there's a lot of vertical platforms and, and places to climb up and hide. And I think I'm going <laughs> to take a, a page out of Billy's book and just blow I mean, things up. Works. Beautiful. OK, let's get my ice spear out again. Yeah, get him. Yeah. yeah. Definitely Teamwork. How, how versatile uh, Ascend is. It's very helpful. Yeah. All right. Now we've just got this guy. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> nice shot. Get him. <laughs> yeah. 
We were all holding our breath. Like, <laughs> do it, do it, do it. One more, one more. Oh, you missed. <laughs> I love that you hyped him up. You know, set him up you for know, success. Sometimes you just gotta and take matters into your own hands. You just gotta help a, a fella out. So that was uh, the first raid here that we have to show. And uh, Flaxel is very happy for our help. She's going to reward us with a little bit of uh, monetary uh, <laughs> happiness. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. A nice, pretty silver ruby. She's also going to explain that they are going to head up to the Hebra region next because there is a uh, enemy encampment up there um, that they have to clear out next. And we are going to follow them. Nice. Yeah. So while I get that set up, what do you guys want to see me fuse next? Oh, listen. Okay. I have requests. Um, I want Alizalfa's tail on a sword. That's, Ooh. that's one of my Ooh. favorite fusions. Ooh. Um, And I think you should use electricity or something fun like that. Okay. You know? Yeah. Shock. Different element. We haven't yeah, yeah, seen yeah. any of that yet in this segment. I could make that work. Um, How about you, Billy? You know, springs are fun. <laughs> springs are a lot of fun. Springs are fun. You know what's extra fun? What is extra fun? Stacking springs. Oh, please, huh. please show us. I yes. will. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what you, what you have. Yeah, I will. All right. So let's see. You wanted a tail on a sword. Yes, which, please. you know what? Let's just open. The, oh, I'm cold. I need, to put some, <laughs> I need to put some warm clothes on anyway. Let's do that. There we go. And let's do... First and foremost, you got to be fashionable, and then you yeah. find everything else. You know, you got to match. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's do the ice one, because yes. I just love fighting with ice. It makes it a lot easier to control when there's a lot of enemies around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good strategy. Um, so we're going to take that out. We're going to put that on. Let's put it on this one. Actually, let's put it on my Lizzle bo boomerang. You know, talk Ooh. about matching, right? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The tails on weapons are Beautiful. great because it gives you a little bit of extra reach. And this one has an element as well. Sweet. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Right? <laughs> right? It's pretty good. My favorite. Um, and then we want... Springs are great, so I'll put a spring on this one. And then what else? What also is great are rockets. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I'm going to take a rocket out, and I'm going to take a spring out. Just making a little yard sale here. <laughs> <laughs> you have got that right. Okay, so we're going to put that one on here. And, oops, nope, this menu here. And we're going to put this one on here. I'm and we're going to save both of those for later. Very excited. <laughs> okay, so, so I have my horse out here, Marble, waiting so faithfully for me. But... I think this is also a great time for us to eat a snack. <laughs> Good call. More prepping. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then I want to show off something I made earlier using auto build. Well, I used Ooh. Ultra Hand to build it before, and now it's I've saved it as a favorite in my build history. Um, here it is. I built a little airplane. Oh, sweet. So we're gonna we're gonna fly by in style and maybe get an aerial view of this place that we're meant to be raiding. It's really to have. It's really convenient to have those, you know, things be able to bi rebuild things that you've already built before so quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And now I'm just taken to the skies. Here we go. I will say I will compliment uh, the the symmetry yes. in this. Some of design. us know it's how really to build good. things that look actually. Listen, really some good. of us have a different vision, but okay. Okay, Still. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Smoke in the distance. Just, just taking the scenic route. And you know, this is something to be said when you're out exploring. Hyrule, and this was true of the last game, but if you see a plume of smoke in the distance, there's generally something to be found there, mm -hmm. so it's definitely worth checking out. Absolutely. I'm going to have some charges because my batteries are running out. Unless I don't have any. Oh, there they are. I'm just going to kind of eat a bunch of these. <laughs> well, not eat them, but use them. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give myself a little extra, a little extra battery power here. You can see there's the fortress. Oh, nice aerial view. Yeah. And I see there's two sections of it. Yeah. There um, it is. 
I'm about to crash land, so I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna kind of take it slowly over here. <laughs> okay, fail. <laughs> it's fine. Hello, Hello Korok. Friend. This is great. So this is the fortress we're gonna take on. Okay. And I would love this is a great opportunity to jump down and just really surprise them. Mm -hmm. But I am a team player, so I, I actually want to go check in with Captain Flaxel first. So we're going to do that. It's not a bad idea just to get an idea of what you're, yeah. what you're yeah. about to have. There is into. a boss bacoblin in there. I don't know if you guys got a good look at it when mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. looking, but that's... um. Those guys are a little bit meaty. It's gonna, a big boy. Try to befriend him? I could. <laughs> I generally do try to do that, because... Mm. Get the biggest baddie on your side. Yep. All right, I think we're about around to the front. Did I go the long way? It's the scenic route. Look at all those spikes. I did take the scenic route. I think I <laughs> ran at all those spikes. Them. <laughs> <laughs> they are over in the trees. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just taking a look. Just showing off the there they uh, are. Uh, magnificent <laughs> construction. And as I'm a big fan of snow, just hearing this music again, yeah. again, is just so good. There's the entrance. Okay. Hey, guys. I was just taking a recon pass, <laughs> seeing what we're, we're up against. Um, it's nice that they waited for us, but Flaxel's going to explain that uh, there's a giant iron ball there. It's a little hard to see with the current uh, atmosphere, but um, they're not sure how to get past it. They're worried about um, the ball being released and crashing down. So um, I'm also a little worried about that, but I have an idea. Something that might help me get past. Something else that I built. What you got? What? What is... Huh. So, this is, uh... Well, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... There's so many... I don't even know. I don't... Right? I'm... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so excited. Actually, put it down backwards. I took a, a little bit of inspiration from um, the three-headed dragons that you see in the trailers. Yeah. And I wanted to build one that was my own, oh. so here we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's just go take some guys out. Yes. Hopefully my You don't understand the him, joy I him. feel in my heart. <laughs> I'm just, yep, they're all scared. And I'm just lighting everything on fire. <laughs> That was, that was one way to clear. That was so good. Now they all know I'm here. Uh, okay, hi. Uh, please. Hello. Uh, the spike Hello. Ball. I will, <laughs> but at first I'm gonna just get out of the way. Another I'm fantastic use of ascend to Thank just, you. you know. I'm gonna just take this iron ball and let my friends in. If I can reach it from here, can I? Nope. Yep. Okay. Well, there's more than one way to do this. Let's get yes. this thing, and we'll just mine now. Beautiful. Come on in, guys. The party's starting without you. <laughs> okay, the other thing I would like to do. Ooh, I like where you're going with this. Oh, I don't know. I don't. <gasps> oh, I, that feels dangerous. Yeah, yeah it sure does. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Now they blow the horn. Though. Now they blow the I horn. I feel like, like this person is not. I mean, we learned that the Billy way is to like you know announce yourself in a big way. I and mean, isn't that what I've been doing? Yeah, 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 make, absolutely. Making an impression. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna just like you guys need to just chill out, all right? <laughs> Julie. You too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That could have gone better, but we are still alive. Actually, I think you're doing great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and let's just, let's actually not. Let's do the shield for a bit. Come on. Come on. I do appreciate that. Like, since you made all these things, <laughs> you had them ready. You just have all these uh, just different things to play with and adapt to It is to nice battle. to, uh, it is really nice to come in and just have a lot of options mm -hmm. at your disposal. Mm -hmm. He's just having a time. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have another thing that I'd like to make while I'm here. Oh yeah? 
Um, or, you know, and this is the beauty of auto build. Building these things by hand would take a really long time. Um, this one. But now I can just build it right here in the midst of everybody. And go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's kind of a dance party. It is kind of a dance party. <laughs> a lethal dance party, it. but you know. I love it. That's great. Okay, it's draining my battery now and I don't really like that. So we're going to do that. That was so good. You see how much damage you did? Look at the Seriously. That was really good. All right. <laughs> really good. I'm going to so many fun ways to get that like, right. aerial advantage. We're gonna re really. we're gonna try this again. Yeah, <laughs> that worked out. Two for one there. <laughs> Let me see. Let's just do one of these for Billy. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I know what you like. <laughs> Wow, like, they, they don't, at this point, they haven't been, even been able to get near you. Yeah, like, I, this really is cool. how I prefer to do it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's Hand-to-hand -hand combat's a little tricky. <laughs> but now that we are outnumbering these guys, yeah, get him, I tail whip. Well, and your, your friends <laughs> so are also, you know, taking the attention off of you as well. Yeah. Which, is which is part of what makes these raids so great. Mm -hmm. okay. No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Get him! Get him! I love you icing them to like set them up for the that's, for the humming. Yeah, <laughs> that's part of what's great. Oh, there's still one more. Here. All right, guys, you got it. I think there's one up. Is there one more? Oh, you're right. Back. Okay, let's go, team. <laughs> that one's like, oh, I saw what you made. That one's like, no. Nope. That one cop was I'm like, good. yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't I want none of this. Let's see if we can pull this <laughs> off again. Oh my god. What should we Out do? Out with this a bang. Mm. Oh, you did say you wanted shock. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did Hurt I shock beautiful. you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. Beautifully done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That was really good. That I couldn't have gone better if I planned it. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> really good. I, I appreciated all the different uses of Ascent and just like the arsenal of like options that you had at your disposal. Yeah, and that it's, was so great. It's really fun to play with all the different types of, of materials and figure out, you know, what your play style is and what, what things you like to do the best. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and with that, I think that's all the time we have for today. So thank you so much for joining us. And we hope you're just as excited as we are to play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom very, very soon. Thank you to the Nintendo Treehouse team for really giving us those glimpses into the game before launch because we are moments away from the launch of the highly anticipated game, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And of course, I'm here with the really scorn Master Sword. We're not used to seeing it like this. What happened? I don't know. You're gonna have to play the game and find out why it's like this. As well as we have fans. You could hear them already making noise outside because they just want to get their hands on the game. As a fan, we know that we have been highly anticipating this sequel to the game. Let's hear them. Yeah, you can hear them. They're chanting. There's so much excitement. And it's not just a game that they're going to be able to get their hands on. It's also merchandise as well. We have some sweaters that are available at midnight and this really cool mug that has some Zion, uh, <laughs> the disgraced sword as well as like, it's, it's actually pretty heavy. Uh, so I feel like I'm gonna have to uh, grab that one as I go. There's a lot to see, and there's just moments away. What you can't hear, uh, I don't know if you could actually hear this, but in the store, they're playing Tears of the Kingdom music to set the right atmosphere, because guess what? The doors are about to open. We are moments away. Let's get a shot. Who are going to be the first fans that walk in? Here we go. 
We're getting them to come in very shortly. They're getting their uh, QR codes on my Nintendo. Uh, a user ready to go coming into that store, the store. And I'm just curious, when we drop into the game, are you going to be going on a Zelda vacation? I think a lot of the fans here are planning it because they've been waiting for a few days outside. So it's only right that you just top that moment off with a vacation as well. Yeah, exactly. Now, I think what we're going to see is how the fans just come together as a community. That's one thing that we got to see when we were on the streets with them is just their pure fandom. Some of them are in cosplay. Some of them are holding up signs with their favorite characters as well. And really, they're just as excited as all of us to dive into Hyrule one more time, for the near future at least. Now, for all of you at home watching, I'm really curious to know what are you most excited for in Tears of the Kingdom? For me, I want to I want to learn about the ancient tribe, the Zonai, and really understand the story that that's going to bring in the relationship between Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf. Let's see the fans come in with all the excitement. That is right. We're seeing them come in, and we also see a mass sword also giving them the power to get their hands on the game because it is out now. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is ready in the Nintendo eShop store as well as in stores like right here at the Nintendo New York store. So we're going to wait here and hopefully see the first fan to get their hands on a copy of Tears of the Kingdom Let's have a look. You can see all of the excitement. The smiles are big. And I think I hear a collector's edition as the first copy going out, which I mean, that's an excellent choice. It is beautiful. It is beautiful to see as well. And you may recognize the person helping with that first copy. It is Mr. Bowser himself. Congratulations! Yes! Congratulations! You're gonna be able to play Tears of the Kingdom right when you leave the store and go on your very own Zelda vacation. Yes, let's let's give him a round of applause. Yes, we love to see it, and we love to see all the excitement. You can see everyone just trying to get their hands on the copy, and just that one shot of just the fans coming in and really enjoying themselves. And that's what the event was all about. It's all about the community, the fans that make this franchise one that we love. You got little previews of the gameplay as well as heard from the developers. And now you get to go home with Tears of the Kingdom yourself. Enjoy your adventure in Hyrule. Thank you for watching.